Yeah, it's Friday night. It's a hot one in New York. We got a great weekend here. Finally, Northeast gets some heat. Guys, we're going to bring the heat tonight for you. I got news for you. This is a great panel. We were just having a bunch of fun before the show even gets started. I had to remind everybody we got a show to do. We got a great show to do tonight. Okay, there's going to be talk about games. Sea of Thieves. We're going to bring up Sea of Thieves again. I feel like we're in a time machine. How come that game just keeps coming up over and over again? But yet, nonetheless, that game will come up. We're going to talk Scarlet Nexus. We got a lot of stuff to get into. Let me say this much. I want to say this. We have, as promised, to all the Mooch Maniac family members, we have gifts that I'm supposedly getting within the next week or two. They're being made. I'll show them off on Twitter, and then I'll be getting information and sending them out to those Mooch Maniac family members. But guys, how do you become a Mooch Maniac family member? Which is hard to say over and over again five times fast. <laughs> five seconds. Right above the description is a join button. If you guys don't mind, it truly means the world to me if you guys will consider joining the Mooch Maniac family members. I would truly appreciate it. Guys, that being said, let me say thank you to each and every one of you that makes this channel and all the gifts that I'm going to be able to give out possible. The great Sir X Man, Judah Zook, Willie Gamer, Frostbite Slash, Zumbila Ice Cream, Custoids X, Hustle and Motivate Replicant, Damien, JWE316, Mumble Ranting Gaming, Tyson Web509, Mr. Twister, All Round Gamer, True Witty, Night Ripper 7, Big Chuck 777, shout out to the great Ice Queen Gaming, Rate the Emperor, our major Mooch Maniacs, Slaying the Chilean, Dunnell Brown, Smokes901, Tactical Gamer, That Guy Smitty, Huma Cast, Four Star Journal, Sean Slomka, Brian B, aka Delirium Blades, and our VIP Mooch Maniacs. Thank you guys so much. You guys are getting the first round of gifts. The Wise Old Gamer, Windingo Rex, Bryant Carter, Marty Bison, the great Marty Bison. Let's not get that mis uh, misinformed. Fork Boy Gaming, MexJ88, Remarkable Knights, Rich Kreiser, Rated D Demonic, the great Purple Hitter 9000, and our honorable mentions, Ben Link, Death Scribe. Ben Link! Ben, you left the family! It's like when Michael wanted to not be a senator. Come on. Ben, get back. That scribe. Failed Pyromancer. Two-Tone SB. The Great Wilmy Hood. And Logshot 316 are forever Mooch Maniac. And wait a minute. Two new members. This is impossible. I couldn't even accept the Great Brap. Basement Radio Arcade Podcast Brap. That's awfully kind. Too kind, as a matter of fact. And the Great Punk Kiddish. Punk Kiddish. That's unbelievable. Punk, I can't wait to give you a gift back. The Great Punk Kiddish. As a new family member, thank you guys very, very much. That really, really means the world. Big Cloud, get out of here. I get the panel here. You guys are going to think I was bribing them before the show. The great Big Cloud Gaming is a Mooch Maniac family member. This is too much. I almost want to end the show on a high note. That being said, I'm too let me... cheap for that. <laughs> but, you know. Crap's like, I'll become a Mooch Maniac family member if you quit it. Yeah, <laughs> it's great crap. Exactly. Well, speaking of that, <laughs> he needs no introduction. He is the introduction. The great crap gamer crap, you have got a spotlight on you tonight, my friend. Welcome to the show, buddy. We missed you last week. I know you were doing yeah. some some family stuff, which is great, but we missed yeah. you. Yeah, you know what? Like I heard it was a good show and stuff like that. I actually wasn't able to uh, to listen to it yet, but I heard it was a good show. People were like, "Man, I wish you were there because yeah, them, bus, them them bots were going crazy. <laughs> they were. You know going what I mean? That's, I always hear that. You know, they're like, "Man, you could have really put Jeff Grubb in his place." Blah, blah, blah. The great Jeff Grubb. Right you now. love so, Jeff. Yeah. You know, I, I do. I do. I do. It's just, it's just, you know, it's one of those things where we have varying uh, points of view and yes. stuff. But yeah, so it's always good to be great. back and, uh, and do, you know, especially when we have a, a big week of, of news and stuff and we got to play some games together and, you know, Absolutely. try them out and, you know, it's, it's good stuff. So I'm looking forward to diving in and uh, getting started. Well, crap, I got news for you. That, the, the very next uh, individual, another usual suspect on the panel, the great gaming Forte. Forte, finally, we have him here at, well, it's a little after 7 p.m. Eastern time. But nonetheless, the great gaming Forte is here. Forte, you have been busy yourself, okay? Not just the new house, not just the new podcast, not the new everything you got going on. But Forte, it is outstanding to have you back here. Your ear has been to the ground in the gaming business, and we have questions to ask you. How are you this evening, buddy? Good man, I don't remember the last time I was actually here for introductions on the Brap Show. I mean, ooh, oh, ooh. wait a minute, too many podcasts, too many podcasts, <laughs> too many podcasts, y'all. Brap hey, plug, listen. Brap plug, nice plug for like you, problem there, Forte. <laughs> no, listen, let, let's let's <laughs> be let's be for real, man. Last week okay, was. Sure. 
last week had me shook, man. I was, I was like, I was, I was looking for, I was looking for vitamins to take after all the freaking podcasts I was doing last week with E three. E three was wild. It was, it was kind of crazy. So, it was. Um, yeah, but I don't remember the last time I was here for. A it's crossfire. been a minute. Um, it's been a minute, man. But um, yeah, man, it's it's good to be here. Really, really good guest, and um, really looking forward to the stuff we're gonna talk about. Well, I appreciate that for you. Well, you already did a great introduction for our next usual suspect. The great promotion Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Basement Radio Arcade Podcast. He's here. He's a Mooch Maniac family member. Brap! Welcome to the show, buddy, tonight. How are you? Oh, uh, I am Aries, by the way, crap. <laughs> Aries, got it. Yes, I've been begging yeah. him to change it to Brap. <laughs> I, don't, I, know. I don't know why he ain't done it yet. Yeah. That was that was so funny playing Sea of Thieves. And crap's like, who is this Aries guy? He's quiet. I'm like, that's me. It's He's Brap. like, no, you're Brap. Well, no, I, I, he goes, I, I, you're thought, Brap. I, thought, I thought we couldn't get Worry in there because we already had four people. Cause I, oh, and yeah. I just thought that I just thought that person was very quiet. <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute. Wait, that's that's Brap. Okay, I get it now. It makes sense. So. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's listen, right. sometimes old names are hard to get rid of. He, he's had that for a long time. But, Brap, you are I Brap. Was a, I was a, that's my, that's my uh, uh, gamer tag from beta testing. That's right. It's hard to give it up. It's hard to it let really it go. Is. It is. Yeah. It is. But yeah. I'm, one but day I, you'll I, switch it over. We hope it's soon. I I, I might. I, I, think I'm, I'm, I think I might take your advice. This show will do it I, for sure. I will say this. For all the L's that Forte has been taking, mm. he needs some vitamin L in his life. Wow. I'll just leave it at that. How about a vitamin W? If that, that, that would counter the L, wouldn't it? No, he's going to need a lot of vitamin L. Because uh, by the way, Forte, I don't think you've that. been taking any L's. I'm just saying a oh, counter no, yeah, to the he, L he would has. be the W, yes. I would assume. No, Forte's taking Matt L's. And Slomo is going to be here. Slomo will the be great down. Slomo backs up will be joining us. But before we get to that, let me say this much. I want to say welcome back to the show to the great Bit Cloud Gaming. You guys already know Bit. Bit has been interviewing people in the business like crazy. He works his tail end off. He works morning, noon, and night. Guy does things on Fridays. And what does he do at Friday night when he's getting a night off? He comes and hits us the crossfire bell. Bit Cloud Gaming, welcome back to the show, buddy. It is outstanding to have you here tonight. Uh, how are you? Doing good, man. Thanks for the invite. Always, always good bit. To be here. Always bit. Well, bit, honestly, I got two major subjects that I've got to hear your opinion on. I know that you've done videos on it. I know you've been very opinionistic. I'll hold off. I'll hold off right now, but I definitely want to get your opinion on two major subjects, and I'll go to you first bit, so don't worry. Just get ready for it. And speaking of returning right. guests, this guy is fantastic. I got to tell you, man, they do an outstanding podcast, and I got to plug Persona, Persona Speaks, as well as the great Jay Barry. I got to just, just got to promote them both. They do a show called What's Up PlayStation, and it is on Saturday mornings, and again, I don't know what you guys all do on Saturday morning, but I always have errands to run, chores around the house, things to do, and to listen to these two go back and forth, and they talk about the industry, and they talk about games, okay? It's 90% games, 10% industry, and the industry 10% is only when people make them talk about it in the chat. The great Persona speaks. Persona's back on Crossfire, and Persona, we are going to need your expertise in a game that I know that you are playing, and I don't know if anyone else on the panel quite owns it yet at all. But look, before we get into that, Persona, how are you this evening? And welcome back to the show. Yeah, I want to apologize because for some reason an ambulance wants to go by my house <laughs> when it's my turn to do <laughs> it's always that an way. intro. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so for me, man, um, you know, I'm Persona, gaming with Persona. Um, you know, it's good to be back. <laughs> I appreciate uh, the invite. Uh, good to be here, talk some games and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, shout out to my boy, uh, Barry, as well. And shout out to What's Up PlayStation. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys, let's get started. Like I said, the great slow-mo backslap is going to be joining us soon. Guys, right in the link, you'll see right I, I actually added the link to the chat. Please do tweet it, tweet it out. Let everybody know we're there. I don't say this enough. Crap told me this years ago, and I just Did don't you promote it enough. you say slow is going to be here? Yeah, slow said he's going to be about 15 oh, to 20 yeah. minutes late. Yeah, that's great. Why would, so, you, why, why would you invite Because him? I think DPS needs a part de. And we do it on Friday night. Listen, man, that man lost all his credibility last night during <laughs> DPS when he was up here saying that Scar man. when he was up here capping for Splitgate having better gunplay than Destiny. That man ain't got no he, oh. he ain't got no knees no more, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe he was tired. I don't know. No, he, he he walking around with when okay, man. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I gotta, that I gotta deal with Somo three days in a row. You I do. See. You do. Only limited though tonight. He's gonna be a little late. But nonetheless. I do want to say, guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. By the way, guys, when you become a Mooch Media family member or you do subscribe to the channel, a very cool graphic. Thanks to the great J Matrix at JMatrix76. 
uh, helped uh, make all this happen on the channel. But let's go to Persona first. Persona, I got to kind of bother you first because I'm going to leave a little bit of the whole Game Pass and Sea of Thieves thing till later in the show. I want to get that at later. I want to talk about Scarlet Arr. Nexus right now. Absolutely, Brad. Uh, I want to talk about Scarlet Nexus because this is a game that's intrigued me personally. And I've come close twice in the past 24 hours to hit the buy button. And I mm. just have held back. I want to know a few things. First of all, I, where does this game stand for you personally? And how? Because you know, I, I, I've seen you tweet out that you're playing it. I know Jay's playing it as well. How do you like mm. it early on? And number two, I'm getting some near kind of vibes from this game. Not necessarily. I think more of the action, uh, more of the 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 combat, um, some of the, the the skills. I think this is a little bit more action than I think near provides. But like, mm. wh where is this game for people like me that are kind of on the fence? Maybe trying to get into this this world of gaming and this section of it more and more, where some people may be a little bit more reserved to hit the buy button. What is your initial thoughts on Scarlet Nexus? Yeah, so um, first off, it's I'm about five hours in. Like I played mm -hmm. it at midnight, but you know responsibilities and whatnot. I can't game all night. Um, but I put about five hours into it today. Um, and for for me, I guess the for me personally, the best comparison that I can make to it is it reminds me a lot of Astro Chain on the uh, Switch. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever played that. Yes, yeah, so, game. Yeah. I know, yeah, but I did not yeah, play I love it, that but... game. Yeah, it's, it's, so it, 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 game. great. Yeah, yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of Astro Chain, and the reason why I say that is because uh, with Astro Chain, you're kind of tethered to a specific person, uh, to a well, to a machine, and you know that's kind of how your combat is 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 kind of centered around. When it comes to uh, Scarlet Nexus, you have four different people that you can kind of tap into. You all are connected through uh, what's called SAS, and you all have your brains interconnected with each other. So um, you have your ability, which is pyro, uh, which is uh, psychokinesis, and then you have a number of other abilities like pyrokinesis. Based on whatever enemy that you're fighting, you'll have a specific other character that you can tap into their ability and be able to use their abilities into overall combat. Um, I really like that, you know, because it really keeps the combat fresh and really kind of gives, uh, it keeps you kind of on your toes. On, all right, well, pyrokinesis only really works on this cat on these type of enemies. Uh, you know, the, you know the speed because there's enemies that kind of move kind of like flash, so you got to kind of slow down time <laughs> with uh, Arashi, right, and, mm -hmm. and be able to move around and, and fight. Um, but when it comes to the game itself, it's fun. It's 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 a it's a it's a weeb game, you know. For those, it's a, definitely a Japanese game through and through. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it does have English voices for those that don't, you know, really like the Japanese voices or want to read or whatever the case may be. What did you feel uh, about it, the repetitive? I and mean, you're only five hours in, so this may not be mm -hmm. a fair question. But what do you think about the repetitive bosses? I heard or, or enemies. I heard the game, for as long as it is, has you know. A lot of repetitive nature to it is is that one of the negatives on your end or not really i mean they're enemies i mean from the enemies that i've fought not necessarily i haven't fought like any bosses only the super other because the enemies in this game are called others and then the super others are like the the boss type characters i've only fought the first boss which is kind of like the tutorial boss mm -hmm. but in terms of enemies that i've fought I mean, I've seen maybe five or six different variations of enemies in the game that I've come across. Okay. And the ones that I've come across, like, like I said, the SAS and the different characters' abilities, you kind of have to use that in order to overcome the the char the, the enemy and, and beat them. Um, then, when again, when it comes to the combat, you know, I'm big on combat and mechanics and stuff like that. Right. In that aspect, it's it shines its brightest <laughs> for me because it's super layered because you have the brain map, which is really just your skill tree. And there's a lot of different things that you can uh, upgrade in the game to, in the, you know, extend combos, make you do more things, make you be able to use. So there's an ability where you can use two different other uh, characters, brain abilities mm -hmm. at once. So there's a lot of different things that you can do in that aspect. But people that are like on the fence about it, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a game, it's an action RPG. Right. Like in at, at its core, it's an action RPG. So, you know, if that's something that you can get down with, then I definitely say check it out. But if you're not someone that normally plays those type of games, but it looks interesting enough to where you want to give it a try, I would say wait for a sale. Yeah, and that's so, it, you know, it's funny you say that. And I, I, I this is the same thing I said, and, and we'll get into it in a different discussion later with the Game Pass debate and $70. You know, that, that we won't harp on it, but I'm just going to briefly touch on it. But this is one of those games where I could easily see 
picking up when it's like, you know, 30 bucks and you'll, dude, Mooch, I, and I know Persona, you'll hit me up. You'll be like, dude, remember we talked about this? That's mm-hmm. on PSN right now for 30 bucks. You better go pick that up. You know what I mean? This mm-hmm. At this point, now you got to play it, you know? Yeah. And I think that that's where a lot of people, because I think like you said, this is a, an, a the, the fact that it's got as much action in it that I think near where near kind of breaks my heart a bit is I like the mechanics. I like the fighting style. Problem is, is just, there's a lot of empty nothing in between a lot of times, especially the replicant. Like as I was playing through that, and, and it was just like it, it just didn't have a ton going on throughout the world. The world seems a little bare at times here and there. And well, this game is this not reading, like that. Well, and well, the, and the reason why I say it is because like you know, so there's different there's a bond system as well. So like there's gonna be like rest periods during the story where you'll have to bond with characters, and bonding is really just you know. Um, not necessarily a date, but like, you know, talking about your life story and getting to know each other. And the more you bond with characters, the more, the better their abilities are to you. So like, for instance, with uh, Hanabi, she's the pyrokinesis. Yep. Uh, I did her bond and uh, her level two power now is whenever I'm getting attacked, she'll take a couple of hits for me. And also now I can do a, a flame tornado whenever I, I'm using her abilities, right? So it, that's where that J, that super Japanese aspect comes in, where mm-hmm. like you're gonna have to bond with characters, mm-hmm. reading the emails and stuff like that, because there's, uh, well, text messages, because you know it's gonna be certain, the only way you could bond with certain characters is if you actually reply to their messages. Like right. it's that aspect as well. You're gonna have to, it's, gonna, it's some reading you're gonna have to do. Side quests, you know, the side quests and things like that. It's a lot of that. It At its core, it, it's a it's an action RPG. I think it's great, but like I said, for someone that's not really used to those type of games, mm-hmm. it might not be something that they gravitate to or really put a lot of time into at first. You know, they no. may play and say, oh, you know, I think, I, you know, I shouldn't have bought this for 60 or whatever. I could have waited for the sale. But for me personally, uh, I think the game is great. I enjoy the game. Uh, it's a game that I've been waiting on for a minute. The combat is great. It's fun. It's it's. It's well, the, the, layered. The it's timing spread. couldn't be any better. And I'll be honest with you, when you said uh, the type of player that may go for this persona, you know, I can actually do an introduction and I can actually have this gentleman talk about this game because I think he was very excited about it. The great Slomo Backslap has joined us. And Slomo, you know, we, we just had uh, Persona do an outstanding breakdown of his first five hours and like we went everything yeah, through different sure, enemies, you, right? Different enemies, action. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to this game. Slomo, I know that you're the other person I saw very vocal about this game, and it just came out today. Uh, did you pick it up? Have you gotten a chance to play it? I know you played the demo. Yeah, so I, uh, I, I, when I first saw the game last year, you know, I did a video on it. I was like, you know, this was like right down my alley. Played the demo, realized like this is giving me a lot of Astro Chain vibes, but I, I really enjoyed the combat more than Astro well. yep. Chain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like I was I was all in once the the demo came out and I played it, and I actually I mean you you get the choice of the the guy or the girl, and I and I said after do, you know going through the demo with the guy, I was like let me go back and play the girl's part. <laughs> right, you know it was just it was I really enjoyed it that much, so I was eagerly anticipating uh, playing the game. I, I I was I would have had my stream up on my YouTube channel, but YouTube wanted to be a dick today, <laughs> and not uh not not pick up my uh my my upload connection, whatever. So I just did it on Twitch. So if anyone wants to check out my first two hours, uh, I got that up on Twitch right now. I'm okay. enjoying it so far. I I did not know it was going to be so story heavy. I thought I, I really did kind of like, and and that's just my fault for really passing a little bit of judgment on it with thinking that it would be so much like Astro Chain because it's kind of has a very similar premise as far as story and plot to Astro Chain and in, in, in addition to the visual aesthetic also mm-hmm. looking very similar and 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 some of the gameplay being the same but the gameplay in this game is just the combat is so much better. I that's love what's using... that's what's selling me is the the combat. Yeah, the, the, the combat's freaking awesome. And yeah, it and as as Persona was saying, it is a <clears throat> It is an action RPG, and so the kind of some of the elements that you see in Persona Five, where you need to speak with uh, your, the other people in the game, grow bonds, and those bonds will will become benefits or perks for you in combat. All that kind of stuff is there. I, I like the I like the premise so far. I like the story. I I think I, I, some of the kind of like scared me a little bit I was as I was streaming it somebody in, the, in my stream said I heard this game is a hundred hours and I was like wait, wait, wait excuse me 
a hundred hours. Like I look. Yeah, somebody said that as well. <laughs> I, I, I saw think, a couple I think because there's the because there's two different storylines that you're playing through. So right when you're when you choose if you choose Yuito, which is the guy, and the Kasani is the girl. Yeah, so yeah, I did, Yuito, I did Yuito. I did Yuito. Yeah. I, I plan on doing um the girls play through after I finish his because I mm-hmm. like her combat better. But usually, if I like one like one aspect of something, if there's two different paths, and I like one better, I do the one I I least like the most yeah. first, so that I got something to look forward to instead of doing the one I like the best first, and then be like, man, I really don't want to like you know, because like I I kind of feel like I have this feeling like the other combat won't be as good just because her she's more mid range and and you <coughs> is more close range, but yeah. I. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still inspired. I'm, I'm enjoying his combat anyway. So, so this sounds like you both kind it. of recommend this game. I mean, it, but you are being wary. You're saying that you have to be a fan of these style types of combat, these types of games. Um, I don't know. I mean, you well, know, if you were the it's kind very, of person, go, go, go ahead, Persona. Go ahead. Uh, it, it's because it's very, it's story heavy. Like, yes. there's definitely, no, there's definitely a that, lot right. of, there's a lot of story to it. Like, you know, there'll be times where you'll fight you know, one or two or three enemies, and then it'll be a cutscene, you know? Um, it, it's it's very rich in story. And those type of things I like, like, because the dynamic between the characters so far, it's very anime-ish, right? For lack of a better term. So, you know, you got the the the, the cocky characters and the shy and the, hey, how are, you know, those type of characters. Like, it's that type of stuff. It's so like it's, a, it's an anime. Like, anime, you got your yeah, anime, anime archetypes, you know, like yeah, the girl... Yeah. The girl who barely talks and she's real, mm-hmm. she's real tough. You got the one girl you can't tell that girl is mm-hmm. eight or or twenty or whatever. You <laughs> so know, yeah, like it's those types yeah. of things. So those yeah. are the you know, I, I think those are the types of things that people also have to be wary of because you know the combat will pull you in and trust and believe the combat it, it shines extremely bright. But you still have to remember that this is a JRPG. <clears throat> if those if that's not your forte. Right, shout out to Forte. Shout if it's not your Forte, oh, definitely not his Forte. Then, play Destiny. then you know it, it's definitely. He doesn't play games. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, 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 you know it, it's it already. Be, I mean, slow mo, already. You know what it is. You know. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, slow mo. I mean, slow mo. You you are the gamer of DPS podcast, by the way. Oh, if you I actually mean, check Discord right now, what is this show that I'm playing? Destiny, probably. No, it doesn't actually. You might want to check. <laughs> you might want to check. Scarlet Nexus. Scarlet Nexus. Hey. But we 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 only know you play Destiny for the most part. You're just taking a time out right now because you know shits and giggles. You're on a well, podcast. Well, there's nothing going we, on on Destiny we, right now. So yeah, you got to take a break every once in a while. Any, is ever every, anything going on in Destiny? I mean, let's keep it real. Come yeah, exactly. We, and we and we know it. we know the real gaming on <laughs> DPS podcast is stumble backslap because yeah, he beats he more out, games. <laughs> he does beat more games because he plays more games. Yeah, exactly. And that's not a dispute. There's oh no, boy. there's no disputing that. You know, I guess, I, right? I, I mean, yeah, I'm just, you're just I, I, okay. You're agreeing. Well, you know with me what though? Yeah. Well, you know what? That's a great point though. I'm glad we're having this conversation. That's the one of the main <laughs> reasons I decided to leave Destiny. I just wanted to play fun. more games. Like that, yeah. that game was just it's taking up time. Yeah, it's, it's taking time. Yeah. Well, yeah. also with Destiny, man, and I'm a long, long, long. You're a Destiny, Destiny fan, player. Persona. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I've been playing Destiny since the very beginning. Alpha. Um, they lost the first one. Yes, yeah, the first one. Since the oh first oh one. man, yeah, yeah, look, since the beginning. that's me one. I was all in there. I was, I would put on music hey, and just run the strikes for hours. Slow-mo. Slow-mo. I, I Vault of Glass? No is Vault of mm-hmm. Glass the goat? Oh yeah. I, I, here's another I think, thing, right? I think King's Fall is better, but that's just my. Yeah, you tell these people that again for the people in the back of the room that can't hear. King's Fall is definitely the better race. King's yeah. Fall is it's definitely the better person. Oh, yeah. 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 Visionist history. Bro, they know where Visionist history. Look at Ball of Glass is always I'll say this. I think the reason why a lot of people hold Vault of Glass. It's such so a high regard. Sure. It's it's that first cherry, right? You popped your first yeah. cherry with the ray, like you know everybody. Yeah, I love, that's I love a good all point. the glass as well. I yeah. do, but I do King's Fall mechanically, boss fight wise, aesthetically, it is the better raid, the best raid. It just, had the, worst, it just had the worst worst weapons in the game. That's yeah. it. Was well, and I'm well, gonna. That's why, that's it's, why been, it's not the best raid. Well, wait a second. No, no, I don't know. It's all about the experience, not the weapons. Ah, no, it's about the weapons. Wait a minute. Here's a question for you guys. Was the weapons? Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is the reason why. Because uh, with Vex Mythic Class D1, especially because I got it super duper early, fully nerfed, it was definitely God tier. But 
I will admit, Touch of Malice was only good in a raid. It was garbage. It was it was garbage everywhere. I will give you that. All I gotta say is Gallhorn. Wait, this bet. Is minutes of my life I wish I had back. Me too, slow mo. But bet. I'm bet. sorry, slow mo. I'm sorry, slow mo. It's my fault. Wait, which which oh, was the raid? It's, which it's, was the raid where? Um, and I'm probably gonna fault. When ta uh, who was the Talos you fight at the end? Who was that damn? Um, are you talking about Destiny Two, man? That was Destiny Two, yeah. Nobody you cares talking about, about Destiny Two. You talking about Deep Stone, Stone Crypt? Yeah. Can we talk about? Can we talk the about? The first numbers? raid for <laughs> Destiny Two was what? Levi. Let me just say, I'm happy I came here today. Garlic Nexus crap. by Destiny. Right? My favorite. I know. Man. I know. Crap. Crap. Don't worry. You're going to. Crap. Literally, the last the last eight <laughs> subjects are <laughs> all <laughs> under <laughs> your uh, <laughs> under your, your forte. Hey, hey, hey Mooch. Mooch, yeah, can I, can I, <clears throat> Mooch, can I, can I throw yeah. something out to the live chat here? I'll say Please. freaking we're out the machine. I, 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 I want everyone in the live chat to vote the best raid ever in Destiny right now. I think you're only going to get like eight people to answer. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, no. so that's the no, problem. That's just, because, that's just because they're frauds and they're afraid to show that no, they were dead. That's because they play <laughs> games. That's because we play <laughs> games, uh, Forte. Uh, I mean, look, the, top, the, top, the, top three, be, the top three best raids in all of Destiny is number one, King's Fall, two, Vogue, and three is Leviathan. Best raids in that order. Good. Okay. Ooh. So now let, let me do this. Let me change subject slightly here. Let's let's go oh, ahead and discuss. Hold on. Wait, wait. Slow-mo, go ahead. On the thing. I, I, just, I just wanted to say about Scarlet Nexus, for those who are interested in the game, I'm, I'm explaining because I want people to understand what they're getting into. I think Persona Please. explained it very well, but I, I want to break down like my first two hours in combat. Like I, I, I think it's going to become more and more combat as time goes on. But of course, when you start a game and especially an RPG, they have to show you all the lore they have to show you the backstory explain things there's a lot of exposition going on of who people are who how they relate to someone else how does this person know that person that kind of stuff so like my first two hours was i did the 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 tutorial combat i did the initial the initial mission and then i did say like one more mission before i got to a hideout i did in in, in two hours that basically probably for half that time and then the mm -hmm. other hour was was literal just you know cut scene voice acted of course and 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 good voice acting but literally just you know people talking and mm -hmm. learning the story so if that's something that kind of is like you not that's not really your jam you don't really like those kind of games oh jam but you, but you stop it <laughs> but <laughs> but you love that combat like i just kind of want to like like let people know that ahead of time so if you want to kind of like you know go through that and then say hey maybe in like another like three or four hours it's more combat for for me and i'm not seeing too much of the story stuff then right you know may maybe go ahead and give it a shot but just like warning people that's how it starts out and if you're you're in for it then you're in for it yeah and that's yeah. that's, hey, that's kind of the point we want to drive home go ahead brad i want to ask uh some question did you, did you get that reference when i said ojm yes i did I love it. I love I, it. I, I am I just, that old. I just want to check. I just want to check. <laughs> I am that old. <laughs> I, I know. I am too. I'm well, you like, know what? Oh, I'm shocked. Man. I'm actually shocked. Bit, uh, Bit Cloud, did you by any chance have anything to do with Scarlet Nexus? So this wasn't on your radar at all. I don't know. I thought Bit would get into this. I thought about it. Just didn't pick it up. <laughs> so you're in my camp. I, I thought about it. I'm, I'm probably going to pull the old waiting for a sale. But I think that's me kind of just saying right He's now I've got. Thieves. Well, that's, Wait, that's oh, yeah. Thing, <laughs> There's a. There's a demo. You can download the demo from that, the PlayStation Store and, and play it. Yeah, and shout out to Josh in the uh, chat. He said the same thing. He's like, Mooch, just try the demo out. I think I might do that. I might yeah, check it demo. out. Definitely, yeah, definitely check it out. Yeah. yeah, it's free. You don't have to pre order a game or nothing. So you could definitely try the demo. See if it's something you like. Well, let me say this much. I'm going to transition over. I think we, I, I, I appreciate all that on Scarlet Nexus, but I do want to kind of get into this. So, so, and this all, this, we're going to start with Sea of No, we are. We're going to go start with Sea of Thieves, and then we're going to go right into Arr. another topic because they all kind of meld together. But me, as you guys can see right from the stream here, myself, Brap, Worry Ward, who may be joining us uh, Wait, who's, later. Who's Aries? And whoever Aries yeah, I, I is. I would love to know. Uh, and the great crap gamer. Uh, we had, <laughs> listen, we had a great time playing Brad, this great, game. by the way. You were like, who's Aries? <laughs> I had no fucking clue, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to have yeah. the name that you yeah. are on the screen. You know, it's funny, I heard crap say, where's Brap? <laughs> I hear him, but so, when, he? so when you guys here see, when you guys are seeing this footage right here, Aries on the, on the screen is Brap. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, uh, we played the game and I guess I'll, I, I want crap. I'll go to you first because I know that yeah. 
me and you, we've we've kind of played uh, each of the the story mission things when they came out. We've played a lot of this early on too, as well. Um, what what is your take on what we played and and just the where you think Sea of Thieves is currently and where it's going? Well, we played the first chapter or whatever, right. and I I thought it was like okay. They really kind of lead you on to think it's going to be a little bit more story oriented than it is. Yep. Um, you know, so I, you know, but, but overall, I thought it was just okay. Uh, we experienced some glitches. It was kind of boring. Like I said, we did the first chapter. Uh, obviously, we're probably going to do the other ones, I guess. But yes. um, the thing that I noticed was like when you get to the end of the first chapter, uh, well, first of all, they don't really make it clear what you got to do. Like, we're sitting there running around like assholes for a lot of the poor. You know what I mean? Like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, we got to get over here. And then there's platforming, which this game isn't really set up for platforming. So you know it's what I really mean? not. Like the, it, it does it, the, the response and the the jumping and stuff. Like we all just kept on falling and 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 falling and oh, we got to do this. Oh, okay, let's go back. We got to go back. Platforming is not and the only we, weak spot. Yeah. Then we all fell back down into the pit multiple times where we had to go all the way back to to kind of get up. Yep. Uh, the first time it glitched up on us when we were trying to load in. Uh, so there was that problem. And then when when you fight the boss fight. At the end, it almost seems very, it seems very scripted. And that was the part that really kind of killed it for me was you're fighting that ship and, and you're shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. There's no indication. There's no health bar. There's no nothing. Uh, I, I'm curious as to whether the events will continue to progress, if, even if you choose not to shoot at all. Mm -hmm. Like that's something maybe somebody should try. But I just, I just felt like it was kind of underwhelming, especially since I'm a huge like fan of, of, Pirates of the Caribbean. So, you know, I kind of thought it would be kind of cool to to see and experience that, but it was ended up being kind of lackluster or whatever, kind of buggy. And I mean, you can see it right there. I mean, you, people can see. I didn't even know you could sit down. Like, look at me standing there. Like, was that asshole. you standing? I thought that was Brad. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> I me. that was. Right? And I'm like, how do you? How are you guys sitting down? Like, how are you guys sitting? Yeah, then we, finally I got an arrow thing or whatever. It said press A or whatever, and then I sat down. Right. So, yeah, it was like, you know, it was just really, um, you know, I, I like I said, I was I was surprised when they announced this at E3. It was one of the things that I was excited for. So I was like, hey, I mean, the, the main thing that we kind of joked around about was, man, that water looks great. That I water, mean, that that's some water. I got yeah, news for you. Water. That's next gen yeah. water. Uh, yeah. Crap, I agree with you. I think that then yeah. I don't want to ask another question. I'll go to Brap on the phone. Say shout out to Sergeant Salty Nuts for uh, A, the super chat. Guys, the super chat's working. Nobody knew until he hit it. Uh, and also, thanks for becoming a Mooch Maniac family member, Sergeant Salty Nuts. I appreciate that, buddy. And I love the name. Love the name. But Brap, Crap made a couple yeah. of good points. And I know that you're, you've definitely, you're very heavily opinionated on this game, especially after what we <laughs> all played, right? But this game's been out a little for, bit. A little this, bit. <laughs> this game's been out for a long time now, and there's there's still seemingly. And by the way, guys, I'm asking Brat the question, but Bit in, in slow mo forte, guys, jump in here, Persona. I, I there's still seemingly like just technical issues that seem very elementary still, and they're they're still present years after launch. Uh, Brat, what's your, what was your take not only on a pirate's life, but just on Sea of Thieves overall? And then I want to open it up to the panel. Yeah, so um, I, I tried to like this game, mm -hmm. and I was I would look I was excited for the DLC of Pirates of the Caribbean because I'm a big fan, right? Right. Johnny Depp, you know Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm Absolutely. All about I'm like great, gar, right? Great. Like, like we, like you know what's funny? We all we it's all jumped into this game. Oh, we all jumped into this game excited. We were all like gar, gar. Remember? Oh, absolutely, we buddy. I thought it was gonna and be great. Like, and then it's like, oh, okay, how do we start the missions? And okay, we got to talk to this person. Okay, and then we got to do this. Okay, and then we try to get into uh, the 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 green aura, which looked like the you know, I'm not gonna say what it looked, but, you know, it looked like a thing. You right? Um, a what? And the, there's like there's a there's a teleport like you got to teleport into this like uh, thing. It's a green thing that looks like uh, you know, I don't want to say it, but you know. Looks like a thing. So, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to say it. I, I'm, I'm trying to be politically correct here. I don't want, I don't want to say what it looks it like. It looks like a okay. vagina. I, 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 thank you. Thank you, Crap. Oh, there, thank yeah. you. I mean, like, I mean yeah. we're all adults here. Just, just stay with <laughs> me, like, man. But, you know, <laughs> it's great. We all so, said yeah. that at different times, though. It's like, true. I was like, hey, it looks like, why are we going? We yeah, I look, look, it looked like She Hulk's vagina. All right. Yeah, so, oh, wow. Yeah. 
There you yeah, go, so guys. You wanted to... graphics. You got them painted. Yeah. So we're trying to get in there, and then we could get in, <laughs> and then we had a reset. That sounds like it sounds like marriage, actually. Um, and so we had a reset. <laughs> we finally got in, and then Worry joins us, right? And we're falling over the place, and you know, like there's like puzzle platforming elements that are okay, and I'm like, okay, this is okay. You know, we found where we needed to go. You know, we saw the puzzles. But then I think what really killed it for me was, and here's the thing, like people are always like, oh, I had a blast. I played with my friends. It was mm-hmm. so much fun. Yeah. And uh, I can't like, I, like I'm going into this with an open mind. I'm thinking I'm playing with crap. Well, I'm playing hey, Brap, I'm only going to interrupt you real quick. And I want to yeah. give you the mic back. Just what Brap's talking about for people in the audience was we had noticed the day after we played this, we played it the, the night it came out. The very next day, you know, the people that you would normally see on, 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 you know, social media, they're like, this is the greatest thing I've ever played. This is fantastic. I never had so much fun in my life. Almost like every other game that was out was didn't exist, and this was the best thing they've ever, ever played in their life. And I remember, like, myself and, and Brap and Crap, we were trying to talk behind the scenes, and we we're like, uh, did they play the same game? Because there was there was, there was was issues with yeah. the game, you know? And it was yeah. like, go ahead, Brap. I just wanted to fill them in. Yeah, That's no, where your I, confusion I, came in the next day. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, if, 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 if like, I hear, like, the, the social element of the game, like, people having fun, and they're laughing, and, and we were laughing. We stopped laughing after the fact that the game became a little bit kind of, like, dull in a sense like it where yeah. you know like we're, we're like it was a puzzle platform granted it's only chapter to, one though we do have yeah we're trying to four find, more yeah, chapters. it's only chapter one we're trying to you know trying to find a uh try and find uh trying to find captain jack but i think what really killed it for me was you know the platforming elements the falling um and then the last the last boss battle like you go through all that stuff trying to figure out the puzzle platforming elements right and like to me like a good game that makes you go through that rewards you with this rewarding experience of yeah. fighting this fighting this boss, right? And and basically we're on a like on a rail right now, you know, like right. Well, you'll see the fighting. fight on the screen right here, yeah. and it's we're, it's we're basically fight, yeah, like right here, right here. like crap yeah, saying fight, we're, we're going to be yeah, fighting, fighting in a second here, and there's nothing like crap actually makes a good point. What if we didn't even shoot the cannonballs? Is this thing just on a timer? But Mooch, but everything that we went through to yeah. try to solve puzzles, right? To try to figure out where we needed to go. Uh, to try to figure out where where we needed to jump, and if it wasn't for worry, we probably would have been in this game for like three hours, I think. Right. But to be clear, it to took the- us forty five minutes to get to what took us five minutes once we got we backed out and redid it with worry. Right. That's yeah. This yeah, is true. That's true. Yeah. And and then and then we get to this boss battle. It's so underwhelming. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Excuse my language. Uh, had worry played the game before, or he just yeah. You no, know, he yeah. played yeah. it out. No, he played it before. Oh, okay, okay, got gotcha. you. Yeah, but, but but we get we get to this boss battle, and it's so underwhelming. It really is. You have Captain Jack fighting the guy from Knack. You have, you know, these NPCs that are like jumping on the boat. Yeah, we're trying to hit the ship. It's 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 you know? the mechanics too. I don't know, and I do yeah, want to open it up. I mean, so under b- bits. So, but, 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 no, go ahead, finish up. Like, we we went through all we went through all this stuff to figure out how to open up chests. How to like get through doors? Mm-hmm. You know the puzzle, pla- the uh, the uh, platforming elements, the puzzle platforming elements. Right. To finally get to this boss battle is so underwhelming. It's like, it's like, you know what, guys? We're not going to reward you for the time that you spent. We're not going to give you this compelling boss battle to be like, you know what? Yes, well, we beat it. It was great. Right. It wasn't great. It was terrible. Well, I mean, the thing about it is, is this, and you may, every point that generic. every point you made, Brad, I I do agree with you. The combat was generic. The uh, story was kind of mad. The platforming was mad. There was a lot of glitches, a lot of this and that. But, I mean, I want to say this much. I want to ask Bit. Bit, did you get a chance or Forte, Slow Mo, Persona, did any of you guys play the new Sea of Thieves or just Sea of Thieves in general in the last... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bit. <laughs> Bit and Slow Mo, I know. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, Persona, I'm completely shocked and, and falling out of my chair that you haven't played Sea of Thieves. I played Sea of Thieves one time like two years ago, and I uh, put it down and never put it up. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> You're counted as one of those twenty some million, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about to be catching. You're one of the twenty one million. <laughs> you are. He is. He is. I mean, there's a lot of people that so, did that. Booted it up, played it for twenty minutes, and was like, hey, going so let back me, to that but, shit. Let me say this. Hey. Slow mo. I know you were getting a laugh out of it too, but l- listen. L- let me say this. The reason I bring all this up, I see you guys in the audience. Like, Mooch, why are you talking about Sea of Thieves? I- I'm talking about Sea of Thieves. There's a purpose here. 
And the purpose is that this game during the Xbox E3 conference, right? And I, in slow mo, I'm going to go ahead and call on you and Forte and a bunch of others, I'm myself excited. included. We all were like, boy, that Pirates Life looks pretty good. Everyone's tweeting it out, right? So, pro Xbox, Pro Xbox, Pro Xbox. It looks good. It looks good. It looks great. Everything looks great. Okay. Then I'm like, hey, are you guys going to play it? Most people are like, no. The people I did talk to that played it, most of them were like, it was meh. So where I'm going with all this, you're like, well, Mooch, where are you going with this? This comes back to the Game Pass thing. And I know that you guys don't like to talk about Game Pass very much. Only other Games podcasts. Pass. Games Pass. Every, all the other podcasts can talk about it, but we're going to talk about it for a few moments. This is what concerns me a bit with Game Pass as it currently states. I'm not talking about two years from now, three years. Because you can't sit there and say three years from now it's going to be great. We don't know what games are coming. We don't know. You know the names of them, but you don't know. Here's a game that's a bona fide... Uh, a lot of money going into it. Rare's a big studio. They are a talented team. I'm not going to take any talent away from them. But seemingly, it is still a very it's still a very meh game for the most part, I believe. If I'm wrong, just let me know. That's fine. But here I have the panel. Uh, everyone's very, very opinionated on social media. Either everyone on the panel hasn't played it, doesn't want to play it, and the ones that did play it don't want to play it again. So my question to you guys, after we just come out of the E3, we're still on a little bit of the E3 hangover is when it comes down to Game Pass, what is it that we're, we're, what is the glaring issue here that a lot of people aren't really talking about when it comes to Game Pass? And that is kind of s mediocre to subpar games going in there or DLC that people don't really care about. And they're like, well, it doesn't matter. I only, I only paid a buck, you know? And Me that's the thing. Sure. Where, where are we with Game Pass? That's why I'm asking these questions. I'm trying to get some answers from people that are not just, it's great! Tweet, you know. Think of it like this: um, for those that have kids, wives and kids, right? Yes. You ever go to a nice restaurant, right? Beautiful. The menu is lavish. It's all this great stuff on the menu. Yes. Right. Oh my God! It's it's got this wild spread. But then your kid wants chicken finger and French fries. Right. The fuck! I can make that at home. <laughs> like we're in this nice. <laughs> You want chicken fingers and french fries? Like, that's what you want? Yeah, yeah, I want... That's how I think of Game Pass. It's... it's, it's Yeah, damn. It, it's a it's, it's wide array of shit. Or think of it like a buffet. Like, you ever go to a buffet, but all you eat is, is, is you know, rice and chicken? Or it's like all this food here, yeah. but you keep going up for rice and chicken, okay. rice and chicken, okay. rice. He loves those buffets. It's like, it's, uh, but that's what I'm saying. It's, like, it's like a buffet of... <laughs> it's like a buffet of a bunch of things you wouldn't eat. Well, I mean, that, you and you know what, Persona? It's a, menu, yeah, it's a look, menu of look, a bunch of things I, you wouldn't eat. It's a, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a catalog of shit you wouldn't uh, pay to can play. I, can, can I chime in real quick? <laughs> please. I, no, Persona, please, Outstanding, please, please. Uh, his point should be it should be taken quite seriously because he's not look, wrong. Like, I will say to, to Persona's point, like, there clearly buffets exist because there's a market for that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so, I, I like, like I, what I'm saying is that this game is not for me because... Like I'm playing this game, and I, I said this to you guys. Like while we're playing, I'm like, oh my god, we're not done yet. Like, 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 you know, I'm, and I'm, I'm literally complaining about the the hack and slash that looks terrible. By the way, the combat mechanics of this game, you know, and 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 for some people, maybe that works, you know. And but I don't think people should say because it, I only paid a dollar for it that yeah. I'm okay with that. Because the concern that I have is that and I think this is maybe what Persona is getting at is that it sets a precedent where mm -hmm. you're okay with this kind of experience. I'm not okay with that kind of experience because but, what, well, I understand the, the, the value that some people might have for this kind of experience. I don't want that to be like the this. standard. Hey, a good, a good, think, a good. Think, think of it. Think of it like this, right? Uh, you know, buffet has a whole bunch of food. It has more, it's got a whole spread, right? And it's a lot cheaper. You can go to a buffet and spend $20 and t fill up on like 10 plates if you wanted to. That's right. But why do people, Rather go to a five star restaurant. Yeah, they want the quality. Why is a five star restaurant getting but, more money, more service? It, it's it's more sought after. Would you take it? Think of it like this: If you were dating a girl or a guy, for those that like that, if you were dating a per, a, a, a a person and trying I'm not to impress them, a buffet. you wouldn't exactly. You wouldn't take a girl to a buffet, right? Where no, would you no, take I, her? I, you would take her I, to a nice but, restaurant I, where you're going to get a small ass portion for one hundred and fifty dollars. Right. I, I don't dis yeah. I don't disagree with you. What I'm saying is like with, with experiences like this though, is that I hope a certain community says, wait a minute, this isn't for me or this doesn't work because what my fear is is that if they normalize it, that it's gonna become the norm. 
And, and, and I'll give you a good example of this. Dark Alliance came out, and people were like, good thing yes. it was it. Good thing it's in Game Pass. Yep. You know what I mean? It's okay. I, I mean, crap. Well, they were saying it. it's like, fun with I mean, friends. Yeah, exactly. Well, I saw that, like, and, that well, and that's how I came into playing well, CFDs. I'm like, I'm playing with Mucha Crap. It's got to be fun, because you guys are both entertaining motherfuckers, right? Yeah. We, I mean, you know, we, we, like, yeah. like you guys, you guys, are, I think we're making fun of me because I was fucking complaining the whole time. <laughs> it was, it was funny, oh. funny. No, but you know, what? I, and yeah. crap, I want to hear what you got to say on this. I just want to. There's a few people in the chat, like Eric B. He's like, you know, uh, the gaming community is bigger than Mooch in this panel. Eric, that's not, yeah. that's not what we're talking about, buddy. And I don't think there's anything wrong with Game Pass, but I just, yeah. you do have to admit, like, social media is a Game Pass commercial at this point. Like hey, every can I, other can I, can tweet, I address, can I everybody into the pool. Can, is can the pool. get in the pool. Can I address that too? Can I address that too? Yes. Uh, he's absolutely right, 100%. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven people on this panel. There's mm -hmm. there's millions of people that play games. Right. He's absolutely right, right? But here's where you have to look at it in a grander scale. Uh, where are people spending their money? People are going out and buying Spider Man. People are going out and buying Returnal. People are going out and buying Demons. People are going out and spending full price yeah. for games. Yeah. That is still what people would much rather do because spending well, sixty or seventy dollars on a great experience is worth more than. I don't think we can buffet. be. We, we can't can be that. We can't that. be that. The sales, the sales say that. Well, well the, 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 you're right, but the sales, the sales say that. What I'm trying to say is the numbers back that up. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not speaking but, into the uh, void. Go ahead. Well, well, I, I think I think what you're saying is true to a sense, but you got to also remember something. There, there, the gaming industry is so big right now. That Apple is like the third, like like in terms of revenue numbers, Apple is like the third like largest publisher or service game service whatever platform out there, right? And, and most of their stuff's on mobile. Mm -hmm. So from from a dollar perspective, I, I get what you're saying, but you can't apply that to the industry as a whole because the industry is so big right now that you could have a variety of different business models that are successful, like like Apple. That's my like like primary mobile. So I, I from a I, I think from a console perspective, I think mm -hmm. that's where you're coming from. Um, yeah, maybe maybe this isn't appealing to us because we're console gamers, but for mobile gamers, you know, for casuals, this might make sense. This might be okay. I, I think I had a, be, I had a person. I think it has been uh, it, it has resonated with a uh, a number of people in the console arena. That the problem is is just that. Not everything is going. Not every game in it is going to hit well for everyone. Clearly, Sea of Thieves is not it for anybody on this panel. I I tried it before, and I never again. And even Lomo, let's Thieves, go back to the season. Well, buddy. this it, isn't no, this is Slow Mo. This happened. is not. By the way, I want to I want to make it clear. It's not necessarily a fact. I, I people are misunderstanding what I'm saying here by my 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 question. I'm at, I'm not even Apple a critique. Arcade, by the way. That's I'm not I'm even I'm not even down. I actually listen. Whether it's the good times I'm having with my friends, like crap, crap, and, and worry, and all the other stuff. I've X bot. I've gamed with so many different people on Sea of Thieves, like throughout the years, right? They, mm -hmm. my friends have made the experience, not the game necessarily, but that's still, but the game brings us together. So that's a good thing. I'm not bashing Game Pass for what game, people are so excited about Game Pass and I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, what do we all say? One person will tweet out the same, same individual. And I'm not picking one. I'm saying, I'm just saying one random person on, on, on Twitter. They'll say, oh my God, I've got 80 games in my backlog. I've barely touched them. I can't believe it. And then this month I've got this game, this game, and this game I'm going to get. And then the very next tweet, they're like, oh, thank God for Game Pass. If it wasn't for that old 360 game that they put in there, I never would have tried it. And it's like, what? You just said you have 90 <laughs> games and 15 new ones coming out yeah, but, that you got to get to, but you can't wait to pay Left 4 Dead at 120 frames? Like, what are we talking about? That's the thing. It's just it's it's mixed messaging. Now, I think Game Pass well, is going to be great, but... I, I, go ahead. That, the whole, in that particular example, and I've always said this was about the whole backlog thing. Your backlog your backlog. It's always going to be a backlog. <laughs> yeah, but... but, but backlog's backlog. destiny. But really 100... Forte, like Forte, that. 195 of the 200 Game Pass games are also your backlog. You're not going to yeah, play those I, either. But let me... I'm going to tell you something. I mean, look, it, you don't have to play everything that's in it. You and don't no, have to. And don't hey, you don't have to play your backlog. But we, but, yeah, like, exactly. but we tweet about it. Backlog. Right? That's why I keep tweeting about my backlog. <laughs> my backlog. 
They can play the games, but there's a reason why they bought the game and it's set in their backlog because they really wasn't feeling it like that. And that's I mean, kind of what I think what, most what people feel about with Game Pass. They'll be you ever see they're like, oh my god, this is great. I games can't believe this game pass, Games Mooch. Pass. Games Pass. They they literally, I gotta be honest, with you, like myself personally, NHL ninety four rewind, right? It was in Game Pass. I downloaded yeah. it. I loved that game when it was on Sega Genesis, right? I played the hell out of it. Ninety three NHL ninety three, ninety four, played them all there all the time. One of my favorite sports games, period. I downloaded it. I played like what? Three, four, five, maybe six games of it. And then like, that's it. And it's like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh my God, thank God for Game Pass. If it wasn't for Game Pass, I wouldn't well, be able to relive the mid 90s. Well, it's like, well, what, are we, people, what are we doing? Well, how many people, I'm looking at this. Uh, I mean, yeah, to be fair, these I'm, are the same uh, dudes who claimed exclusive for anti consumer. And yet, right. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at this see if these gameplay. This shit look hard. I'm sorry. I got, um, so back to Game Pass. Uh, <laughs> Persona. I, I, I think. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay, I got off track. Persona. Um, I, I, I think the. the Bit other made a good point, though. That, I do want to say uh, that. Uh, no, I, I agree, but I think the other side of this too that I think all of us have to look at is, yeah, Game Pass has all these, you know, it has all these great games and yes. many, many more coming to it. You know, cool. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone here is gonna fault them for that, right? Because you you want to keep the service up. That's mm -hmm. that's where they're putting most of their ducks right now. So, all right, cool. My thing is, how many games, you know, as much as people sing the high heavens of how great Game Pass is, I always ask the question of, well, how many games have you completed? No one can ever answer me. Like, oh, it's, mm -hmm. I'm playing this, I'm playing this, I'm playing this. Okay, but what have you completed? Oh, that doesn't matter. Really? Yeah, so yeah it'll bring up value. Just, just That's keep, just go, yeah, just, you're just going to keep playing shit and not completing it, right? But then, you you know, these same people will be the same ones that'll tell you why a game isn't worth 60 or 70 or they don't want to buy games anymore because it's not unique or it's not, it's, you know, they're, they're critiquing it for something, but they won't even complete the shit that's in the service that they sing to the high heavens. What are you completing? What games are you playing to completion? That's the question I want to know. Never mind all this other shit. What games are you completing? Give us a list. I think, I think the, the people who aren't completing games in Game Pass are likely not completing games that they purchased as well. Of course, I agree with you 100%, Slomo. 100%, yeah. I agree with you. I think it, it's a <clears throat> game of forte, a habit that some people have where <laughs> they they uh, they purchase games oh, and, and they eventually get into them and then they just never complete them oh, like Spider-Man forte. Um, <clears throat> and forte. Games like maybe the fact that, you know, maybe this you know <sighs> particular person like named Forte uh, only completed one Damn game this forte. year. You know, so it's just like, it's... I, I Guess what? It was a Game Pass game, though. Slo it's slow-mo. <laughs> slow-mo. I, I actually completed a Game Pass game. Forte, yeah, slow was, it, was the only game Forte uh, completed, was it De uh, Destiny DLC this year? Was that it? <laughs> it was Outriders. He, he completed Outriders. Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah. Barely. Oh, shit. I'm about to buy this dude a Happy Meal. Well, but listen, so let me let me say this, and I know that you might... There's people in the audience that say, you know, Mooch, why, why do you bring this up? And it's not... It was honestly so. I'll give credit where credits due. Shout out to Mister Matty Plays. Um, By the way, Mooch, I think I think at this part I dive in the ocean because this so, is where you you're, so, you're already in the ocean. Um, oh, but Mister Matty Plays did a, a video, and and it was interesting because he he starts the video off where he has to apologize that he's making the video, and I'm paraphrasing here, but and I felt bad. I was like, he did a great video. And his concerns were valid, video. right? It was, was a good video. To, he was trying to. Uh, ease, lesson the, ease the, the right was going to come his way <laughs> right for saying what he said but but I, I saw the video as well I agree with his video you do need to you have to let a platform holder or a publisher whoever is running a service let them know that the quality There's of the quality, games that yes. they're getting right. that are launch games yeah. is subpar like you you don't want to so I'll, I'll use Dark Alliance as an example. That's the Dungeons and Dragons game, right? Yes. Dark Alliance. Yes, right? it is. So this game uh, has game. been called the game. buggiest game to come out in 2021, and they they gave money up front to this developer yep. to to deliver a incomplete game that wasn't ready to be launched. Like you need to look at what you spent. And was it worth it? And I would I would say that wasn't worth it because people don't like the game. People were upset mm -hmm. at the at the publisher, right. and even people who got it in Game Pass and didn't drop down full price money on the game was like, "Yo, I want my I want my life back. Mm -hmm. I want the time I spent on this back." Right? I heard so, I heard people like, say it was fun. Slow mo. 
Hey, yeah, yeah. I, I can't see any of that. I don't know who they are. But look, all I, I'm not playing it because I, I saw I saw uh, a little bit. I wasn't really all that interested in, in the first place. But I, but I saw the footage of the boss like glitch out, and I'm just like, I hate that. That's the one, one like a pet peeve of mine in games. I, I want to fight a boss, and it'd be a challenge. I don't like to fight a boss, and the boss glitches out. That's where I basically turn the game off and mm-hmm. start it over again because I, I don't want to win that way. And I hate seeing stuff like that. And I saw it multiple times in other other people's reviews. This game wasn't ready to be launched. And I think that's something that they, they need to curate what they are paying for. You're paying more money up front for the game that's a launch game in Game Pass than the game that's just in Game Pass. So you're paying more money for this. You need to be like, hey, hey, pop that game open. Let, let, me, let me try the game out. Let me see what I'm spending my money on. I'm, I'm not just spending my money on a on a, a name, an IP. Was is it worth it or not? I think MLB the Show was worth it. I think Outriders, even though it turned out to be the bug, a buggy mess, was also worth it. It was a it was a good game. But Dark Alliance, no. Nah. So like you you have to actually start doing things like that. Like there's another game they got. I can't remember the name of it, but it looks they showed it. I think they showed it at at E3. Oh no, it may have been I have been at E3. I can't, it may have been an idea at Xbox. I can't remember. It looks funky. It has like the same like enemies everywhere. They all look like the Predator. I know someone knows what I'm talking about. Like where all the enemies look like the exact same enemy type, and that's like they're like launching in in, in Game Pass. I'm like, I don't care. That that game looks terrible. So you you should have games more on on the outriders the mob the show side that you're mm-hmm. actually spending your money on to be yes. launched games and game i'm not saying those games can't be in game pass and right. people won't enjoy them and that but like let that be the game that like you don't even announce that went into game pass it just shows up there and someone just scrolls through and sees it let it be that game. Right. Don't let you spend the money up front, and then now you're marketing. Slow hey, you're you're, you're speaking. Alliance, you're you're like, preaching right now, and, and I'm with you. And the thing is, is like you said, Dark Alliance and uh, Outriders were buggy messes. Okay, and that's the point of the matter. Is they were the buggy messes, and those are the day and date games. And people like to throw MLB the Show. Fine, MLB the Show. Uh, that's fine. Great that that's in there. But what else is going to go in there day and date? We don't know yet, right? Just seemingly the quality of the game. Sea of Thieves, that's a first party game. And this Pirate's Life is glitchy, buggy. You know, I, the thing is, we'll wait for the patch, Mooch. Like, the, the thing about it is, is it goes back to what Persona was saying. There is room for buffets out there, right? But, like, I don't want Netflix to go away. I don't want Game Pass to go away. But you know what I really don't want to go away? The movie theater experience. Going to the movie theater with your better half, okay, or a family of four, costs over $100. But the fun and the smiles on the faces well and being out, right, well days. over, right? It's an yeah, 85. Saying, the, 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 t- the tickets is 100. The food is like. The food's the another, another 100. Yeah. My, but my that's point. Mortgage. That's the whole yeah. thing. But I don't want to lose that experience. Hours. And it's two and hours. Two, yeah, you get two hours. So it's like, like, here's the thing I want to say. Like, I think Game Pass is fine. Enjoy it. If you like it, it's your thing. But what I've noticed lately is, and this is especially on social media, it's a shaming of people that want to buy their games, right? Like, uh, uh, and, and this is something that I've seen. I've seen it from I, I've seen it from certain developers. I've seen it from you know uh, the media, right? I've seen it. I've seen it from a lot of people where they try to shame you if you want to buy a game for seventy dollars. Like you know what? Listen, I this is where I think reviews can kind of come into play. And then people will go, well, you know, play it, play it, and don't knock it till you try it. Like listen. I was like Godfall was a game I considered getting at launch on PS5. The reviews were trash, so I skipped it. Right? Like, I mean, I do this one because there's always going to be some games coming out and you're always going to be on the fence or not. So, you sometimes you can go to review and, and if it's overwhelmingly negative, then you know that, you know, the game's probably not going to be good or worth your time. Uh, you know, right now this game, uh, Dark Alliance has a 59 rating on yeah. Xbox. I mean, like that tells me right there I don't need to try it. To see if I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to. It, it's ridiculous. Now, listen, I could, if I really have my eyes set on going to a movie with the family and, a, and it's a movie I really want to see, sure, I could stay home and boot up Netflix instead and probably find something, but it's not going to be what I really, really want. You know what I mean? So I, I look at that as sort of the equivalent of it. I think if you love Game Pass and that's your thing, man, fine. That's awesome. Perfect. Absolutely. But why, but why is there this, all of a sudden this shaming? 
going on for people wanting to buy games. Like, yeah. I'll never understand it's that. It's the, like, like the same way that there's room the, for the, a Netflix and a Hulu. There's also room for movie theaters. The same reason there's a buffet is the same reason there's a five star restaurant that costs, you know, $12 yeah. for sparkling water. But, but Go me, ahead. There's also, yeah. there's also shaming for people that. Uh, you know, play games on Game Pass. It goes, that's it true. goes both yeah. ways. Oh it, yeah, it really no, it does. does, it does. And I and, listen. And, that's but, why I was saying. To your point, Mucho, you're right. You're right, though. There, there's like just like the movie theaters. You well, know, they're, they're, the market's so big. You can have like you can have an Apple Arcade, and it can be successful. You can have a Game Pass. It can be successful. Right. You can have arcade Nintendo. And yes. Nintendo is you know bucking everyone's you know notion of what current gen is. They don't have this. Nintendo has not had a robust online multiplayer, you know, gamer tag, you know, system, whatever, ever, and and they're and, and they're dominating the console space right now. So, um, well, you know, the, the market's so big that you can. Well, have let me just point something out. Okay, okay. Yeah. I want to go out here. I want to address I, something real quick to what uh, <laughs> Brett was saying. Network, real yeah. quick, real quick, and I'll shut up. Uh, because he was saying that uh, there's, there's people bashing people that use Game Pass. Um, that's because. A lot, and it's not the ones that's just in their lane, just playing games. It ain't them, right? A lot of this is a lot of this is really Twitter, Twitter war bullshit, right? Like, let's be honest here, right? That's where the bat, that's where people are seeing the bashing, and that's where the bashing is being done on both sides, right? But I think where that comes from on the on the Game Pass side of things is people that used to buy games and had no problem are now looking down upon people who do buy games as if they're fools for doing such. And that's where it's like, well, hold up. You were just doing this last gen without an issue. That's on the Twitter space, as you said. That's that's what I said, but that's where it's happening. Where else would you be seeing something like this to make that type mm. of to make that type oh, of social media or, or gaming okay, sites? So yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to point media, out that's what I'm yeah, yeah, I wanted to point out to Xbox and Eric B that says there's no shaming of people who want to buy great games, which I I'll say bullshit. I saw that Game Pass list. And they're like, if you wanted to buy all this stuff on PlayStation, it'd be seven hundred and eighty-six dollars. <laughs> like I see that shit every day. Yeah. You can't tell me that there's nobody shaming. You have the Descenders guy, right, who's been up Microsoft's ass since day one about his shitty game, right? Um, <laughs> and let's just be real, he has been, right? Yeah. He's up Microsoft's <laughs> ass about his shitty game, and his game sucks. I downloaded and tried it; it was horrible. Um, but he he says, can you imagine? I I can't imagine paying seventy for a for just a ratchet. And Clank game, I, I couldn't do it, right? Like, you see this more and more often, and it's just, like, to me, you know, really, like, listen, Ratchet and Clank is a fantastic game. I'm finally at the end of it. Great, amazing. I've So far, I've put 15 hours into it, got my money's worth. Uh, you know, I, I love it. Whereas I could sit there and scroll through Game Pass, find some average crap that I'm going to play for 15, 20 minutes, decide it's not for me, and move on to the next thing. Game Pass, to me... Like, this is the problem that I've had game with Game Pass. Any game that I really want, I'm going to get day one anyway. But Game Pass seems to really thrive on these unfinished games that go into their service, and particularly the first party. Microsoft has to get out of that. I did not like what they did to Gears of War 5 with it being in Game Pass. And if they do the same shit to Halo, then I can imagine that it's going to have a big start and everybody's going to be like, oh, and, and I thought Halo was dead. Like, Mooch, you and I both hate this. But, 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 but I thought Halo was yeah. dead. I we're thought Halo was dead. At, yeah, we're going to hear that at launch day. Halo's going to break records because it's free to play, and you're going to have millions of people playing it for free, right? Yeah. Then we're going to have to wait and see a couple months later where people are at, mm -hmm. okay? Because I think that's going to be the real interesting meat and potatoes of what's going to happen uh, if they really kind of nurture that side or appeal to people right. with no BR. You know what I'm saying? Like the people that are playing Apex and – Fortnites and stuff like that they play those games for a reason you know they they like br games halo isn't that so are, tra are the traditionalists gonna like halo with the sprint and modernized and a grappling hook right or are the newbies gonna stick around if they're getting their ass kicked you mm -hmm. know this was a problem with gears of war that happened right nobody stuck around there's like 200 people on steam right now playing gears of war OK, uh, you know, it, like it ebbs and flows and I understand that. But it's like Microsoft is known for putting incomplete product. State yep. of Decay 2, incomplete. Uh, sea of Thieves, incomplete. Gears of War, incomplete. It had the least amount of DLC in terms of maps added than any other Gears game. Mm -hmm. OK, um, Bleeding Edge. I mean, do I even I mean, listen, the uh, Crackdown 3, uh, that game launched without a way to play multiplayer and teaming up with your friends. Like right. this should not be a problem. This should not be a thing. 
going forward. Like Halo should launch with all the bells and whistles, the you know all the stuff, and then we'll see how it goes. But because if they can't prove that they can get out a complete game, uh, you know I don't know what to say at this point. Because I got to be honest with you, I tried Outriders and I know many people liked it. I thought it was okay, but it was broken. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Like Dark Alliance. You know, uh, a busted low rent game. These are very mid mid games. Like yeah. bad. Yeah. You know, like the good games that they put in there tend to be older games that I've already played or, you know what I'm saying? But again, that's how I look at it. I'm sure Microsoft doesn't like, that's why they got but, called basic cable because they have right. like good stuff is years old and the other stuff is but, very mid, like made for TV type of shit. So, you know, and they have, it's, like, the it's like, it's like Skidamax at 12 AM. Yeah. They're, they're the ones that have well, to prove that they can put out great titles. That's what I was just that, Crap, yeah. what you're saying is 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 exactly what uh shout out to, again to Mr. Matty Plays. I thought he did an outstanding video. And I do want to say me and Jeff Grubb were just kind of talking about this. Shout out to Jeff Grubb who's listening to Crossfire. I want to say shout out to the Grubb family. I appreciate you guys uh listening to our banter in the ride home from the zoo. So Jeff, I always appreciate you uh listening and, and taking part in the show, whether you're on hey, the panel hey, or in the hey, chat. Hey, Moose, the Moose, last Moose. Jedi is the worst Star Wars thing ever, though. Like seriously. Hey, Moose, Moose, Moose. <laughs> you gotta throw that in there, oh. didn't you? Who's, who's, who's got better hair, Grub or the Lion? Oh my god! Uh, Grub wins. Uh, Luke Skywalker throws his lightsaber over his shoulder. Get the fuck out of here! There's the Great Worry Wart is here as well. Worry, worry. We'll have to see you, thieves. Hey, worry. Are, are you looking? Worry, are you looking forward to playing that game with me again? I started uh, the second chapter. I don't want to tell you how 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 bad it is. So, oh goddamn it! <laughs> what boy. happened? Is it could it be? Could it be worse? Than there the are there are more. They actually rare addressed it. There are more bugs in chapter two than there were in the first one. They're working on fixing the bugs that are in chapter two. So what? So why do they release it? If, because if it's it was... Game Pass. It's okay. It ain't okay. That's it, yeah. I, I agree so with not, you. Yeah, it's so not okay. Like I, it's just look. You're you're never going to be able to change your reputation. If you if you consistently continue to keep allowing this, and so like there, there there's always and I've said but, this for for such a long but, time. There's a thing people, about people hold on hold on hold on. There's a thing about <laughs> I I I love their creator freedom that they give their developers and their their first party studios. They need to buckle down on the quality assurance, and I've said it for a while because it's like it's freedom's great, but if you're not curating what's what's actually you're allowing the freedom to do you know it's it's someone can have what they think is a masterpiece but if the rest of the world mm -hmm. thinks this is a buggy garbage nightmare mm -hmm. you need to break it to them you know i know you wanted to make what you wanted to make but it's a buggy garbage nightmare let's fix this let's do mm -hmm. like like go back and and right. and see how you can make this better or it's, if it's simply it needs more time in the oven you need to be able to say that and mm -hmm. I, I i think that they have a weakness in their in their leadership where they just don't seem to be able to to have the eye for that i i, rem I remember something they had said uh back when see if these first came out and the feedback was beautiful water you know great idea but there's nothing to do here there there's no story there are no right. missions yep. like what the quest like what what, what do you like, i don't know what to do but collect chickens and skulls right and so they i remember them saying well we wouldn't have known well, like we after like a year later after they added quest and all this other stuff that people and then you know they got they got a sea of thieves community that was hardcore to the game that oh it's because of you guys that we knew what was necessary but i i think about that i'm like that didn't make sense to me because didn't you guys see the game like that's why the thing you you, uh, need the, but they're the on record slow mo slow mo they're on record saying you. they're on record saying they cracked down three wait till you see this it looks great uh, they're on record with that. And the question is, is who's approving or not approving? And the other thing when it comes to Game Pass is that they are maybe in a situation right now where they're willing to take anything in there because their first party's not ready. And that's but, okay, but there has to be a quality control. Because as, again, I want to pay credit where credit's due, uh, Mr. Matty Plays and other people are now starting to mention, a few people are starting to actually talk about it. And you were saying it's first impressions that count. And everyone keeps saying what Worry said is a joke. Oh, it's okay because it's in Game Pass. We got it. Like, no matter you're paying a dollar or a hundred dollars, it's still a dollar out of your pocket. Go ahead. Can I can I can I say something real quick? Persona, please. I'm I'm reading I'm reading I'm reading the chat right, and I see people saying that the panel is PlayStation shills, 
and and and, all this. and I'm like, sure, I'm, but th- this this is what I want to <laughs> say. But see, this is the problem in the community, bro. Like CMR, baby. It's it's, it's it's people 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 that are fanboys but don't know it. You like you can't even accept a constructive criticism that people are. No one is is bash or fail. No one is saying no. Xbox is garbage. No one's being. It's just like yo, this, this shit just needs to do better. Right and your PlayStation shill, your this, your that. It's like, bruh, everything ain't sunshine and fucking rainbows, man. Right. Like this shit, yes. this shit needs, to, this shit needs to be better, bro. I'm sorry for my language, but this, 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 I don't this waste my it, it needs, it needs to be better, bro. Like this is the problem with the community. People want to just mum. Oh, don't say nothing. It's good. Yeah, the don't way say it nothing. Is. Why are you talking? You, you a know? fanboy. You this. It's like, bro, look. Regardless of what people's preference are on this panel, everyone here enjoys gaming. Like, yo, if you can't accept it, something might be wrong with you and your preference. Because if you're getting mad and calling people shills, you might want to look in the mirror because you might be the problem with the community and you might mm. actually be the toxic fanboy that you hate so much. Mm. I'm sorry, God. No, no, Persona. Yeah, I, I, that's fine. Go really ahead, Brad. And I, I appreciate your rant there, Persona. Yeah, I really do. I, I Yeah, I just want to say, you know, uh, you know, this, this issue of quality, I mean, I think on you know like bad games are gonna like happen, and I think that's gonna be part of any service. You know, we see it in Netflix. Not every show on Netflix is is great. You know, it's just it, that's just the way it is. <laughs> I mean, you know, and I think I think this is gonna be part of of Game Pass. But I will say this: I, I don't think that people should um, necessarily like downplay games being bad because it's you know on a service. You know, I think that as gamers. I don't think there's anything wrong with demanding better to, I think to kind of what persona is saying, like, you know, and, and, and that was my thing with sea of thieves. Like I, you know, even though, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm locked in for, you know, three years at a dollar, I still expected better from the gameplay, you know, you know, even though, you know, the game was included, you know, in my service, Mm -hmm. I still expected better. Like I, and, and I don't want people to, um, I guess my fear is that, that people may normalize this, and say this is okay, and that you know yeah, so, games that go ahead. the the games that you know that aren't you know necessarily uh, you know released like like Slowmo said re- released complete they're not complete or they're not necessarily good that we we, we get into the situation where like oh it's okay because we paid a dollar or whatever the case is like that's that's something to consider and, and yeah. it's okay to to raise that question it doesn't mean that you you hate Xbox yeah. all of us. I think everyone on this panel, and I'm an Xbox like beta tester, by the way. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm yeah. glad so I'm prob- the audience didn't probably, know I'm that. Probably, I'm yeah, I'm probably more old school. I'm probably more old school than most people in this panel in yeah, terms of beta Xbox. Test on the PC, you fraud. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> <Bet. whatever. laughs> no, actually, I was. I played. Uh, I played the original. Uh, yeah, I like. Uh, <laughs> I played. No, I played the original. Uh, uh, Doom and yeah. uh, Wolfenstein back in the days, and Quake and Unreal t- uh, Tournament, um, and. Uh, Anyhow, well, so, let, me, let me do this, Brad, real quick. I have a couple super chats yeah. I've completely fell behind on, and then I do want to ask Bit. Bit, I got to get your take on this. So just, just uh, get ready for your answer here. Let me go to the super chat here. Uh, Gaming over Brian says, "Hey, Moosh, great show as always. Question for the legendary Persona: Is it true when you sync your trophies for Final Fantasy VII Remake, your trophies what? all automatically <laughs> pop?" Hey, yo, what? <laughs> I think he's talking about if you really download, asking, you know. Is he asking that or this? Okay, he's um, legit asking. If you, speak, if you sink your tro- say, ask the question again. If you sink your trophies, where? If you sink your trophies for Final Fantasy VII Remake, you all your trophies automatically. It, he cut it, the 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 comic kind of cuts off. Is he, is he trying to say? Uh, he's trying to say you have to four, and then you play. Yes. The, if you sink, well, if you upload your integrate, data, yeah. Mm. Integrate, yeah. Your all your trophies they that pop you again on PS4 will pop again. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, so you have to you have to actually transfer the save over. So you have to go into the PlayStation 4 version of the game and pull that save from there and say that this is it has to be the completed game save. Pull that save and then go onto the PlayStation 5 version of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Upload the save and once you do that, all the trophies will pop. Yes, so you do. You get your trophies twice, so it's kind of like yes. a, it's a yeah, freebie yeah. from Sony. Uh, yep. Bor- Borber Contri says, "I just tried Game Pass. Even I think he said even compared to PS Now, it is definitely lackluster. You should try PlayStation Now because the quality and number of downloadable games. You know, that's uh, the great Adam Sessler actually did a comparison. I saw that on the G4 uh, 
website as well. He did something. I watched it, and it was very interesting. Nothing there that was actually groundbreaking, but I thought it was interesting for those of you that don't know about PS Now. I think they both still have their strengths. It depends on what you're looking for. I mean, PlayStation Now definitely has more games, and I think that uh, you know the Xbox Game Pass has newer games in there, right? New, more yeah. relative D &D. games, right? More, right. Yeah, more, yeah, more. More modern Recent games. releases yeah. is what I'm trying to yeah. say. I got tongue tied. Yeah. yeah, I mean, hey, they're releasing that uh, eight bit looking. Uh, what is that? Space Jam game into Game Pass here in a few days. Great example, yeah, crap. <laughs> Great that looks to be a, Crap's uh, always there for a good, amazing, good jam. Uh, another another banger. You know that's what's that's, that's, that's exclusive. That's exclusive, <laughs> by the way, guys. It is exclusive. Yeah, no, no, no. It yes. is. I want to see everybody download Xbox. It. Yeah, that's no, kind of like, at least Microsoft time. Paid for it, it. It's not. It's not Can exclusive. You, it's just it, coming 15 days early because yeah, time. we have time. Game Pass Ultimate. It's right. time. It's, yeah, time. it's not, not. It's not uh, coming to PlayStation. True. Microsoft helped paid for the development of that game. You know what's interesting about that game, though? What's that word? Is that it's it's in Game Pass. If you have Game Pass Ultimate, it's part of the perks. So you have mm -hmm. to pay for Game Pass Ultimate to get that game. But 14 days later, that same game is free, free to play on the it's Windows Store. Yeah. yeah. Really? Right. Yeah. yeah, it's a free to play yeah. game. It's kind of an insulting perk. So why, why? Well, so you they're just giving you, play play they're just giving you at early access to it. Gotcha. Right? Okay. 15 days gotcha. earlier. That's all well, they're it's doing. Like, it's like, listen, if you look at the stuff, another thing, I mean, this is Microsoft's own fault too. The games that they advertise that everybody runs with as being quote unquote exclusive and then they all end up going everywhere. Stuff like Second Extinction and The Medium. Terrible. Like, people really cap for these games hard. And and then it turns out that they aren't really exclusive to begin with, but they really act like they are. Like Stalker Two, that game's coming to PlayStation after a few months. Like I mean, you know, like that's the thing that I think that really kind of like nobody goes, "Wow, Kenna is going to be exclusive forever," or you know, nobody. I didn't see anybody hyping up Odd World. Like you don't see that happen. It's like yeah, God of War, Last of Us, or whatever. Yeah, I hype that shit all day. But you see on the Xbox side there, The Ascent. Like like who gives a shit about that game? Honestly. Right? right, like, and you see them them really hype this stuff, and it's probably going to get a low rating, like most of the other like B tier stuff that they've been advertising for two years now, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, that that's probably my main thing is they're putting this lackluster content in there, and you know, and there's not really that quality control. So, to me, it's like it's almost like a junk service. So, so, right so, so they so, start putting quality stuff in there. So the question is, how much? Okay, so are we? If we had to put a percentage on mm -hmm. Game Pass when it comes to stuff that we consider trash versus stuff that's actually pretty good in there, what would you say? Versus, well, it depends. They put good stuff in there, but the good stuff that they put in there tends to be older stuff. Okay, so and I'm going to ask you this. So we... Well, hold on. What how, I old hear, is, how old is Yakuza Like a Dragon? That was a... That was that was no, that came uh, out that was last year. year. That was last year. Last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, last year. It was I, I no. Know, it was like that November that last year. November, yeah, yeah November. November, December, yeah, right? November. Yeah. So the re the reason I asked that is it's a good and, question, I'm, Forte. Well, the reason I asked that is because I'm not trying to, you know, because I I agree that the quality control definitely needs to be better when it comes to the newer games that are releasing in the service and stuff. Because I watched the Maddie plays video and mm -hmm. and he made some really good points there. I do think when it comes to some people, especially the people that are in the comment section or in the chat right now talking about it, we kind of overlook the fact that we say that, yeah, a lot of these games are older games. But for some of these people that are playing these older games, these are games that they never, ever looked at a day in their life. Like all of these, like Yakuza has been around forever mm -hmm. and all of those games are in Game Pass now. And for the most part, all of those are quality games. There's a lot of quality games in there. Now for us, the people that are on this panel, we play most of all these games in here. So I understand why most of us don't cap for stuff like that. But I kind of think we take the conversation that we're hearing on Twitter, in the community, when it comes to people that don't really play as many games as we play, we look at them like, well, how can you recap it? It's an old ass game. Why are you talking about old games? We want Microsoft to bring br new games, new experiences. But there's a bunch of people that are playing a bunch of games they've never played before. And a lot of them are a quality. And today, for the first time in a long time, I and, and I'm, I, first time in a long time, I'm in a new store now. So it's not even my, my old clients. It's, it's new people that mm. I've seen before. Somebody actually came into the store today. And traded in their Xbox three, their Xbox One S for it was like one hundred and twenty five dollars, mm -hmm. and he he gave me two Xbox Live cards for twelve months, 
And I was like, are you buying these for two separate people? And he said, no, I'm buying this so I can get Game Pass for two years and do the upgrade for I can get it. On. I was like, oh, I said, what? Who told you about this? He's like, uh, no, just a couple of my friends told me about Game Pass and I saw some of the games they were playing and he did it. And then later that day or later today, another person. And no evidence. I, well, I can't show you public. I can't, you know, send you copies of people's receipts and stuff. That <laughs> no, go no, ahead. No, you, you don't have to. No, 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 but don't get me wrong. The sense that it's not. But that came. Yeah, look, but but literally <laughs> to the point where I knew people oh, would say God. like, "There's no way this has happened." I wanted to take pictures of these receipts and post them online. Like, I guess people do just randomly walk in stores and do this. And somebody, but you can't, you can't equate an anecdote. No, no, but just one. No, no, but that's just. One, that's just one instance. No, I, I understand that, but yeah, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that for this, see, but here's the thing. Uh, you're right. You know, there are some great games on 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 Game Pass, right? Um, but the the other side of that is, for a very long time, a lot of people looked at games like Yakuza and JRPGs and all this other stuff as not real games, as crappy games, crappy experiences mm -hmm. for the longest of time. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to take games, that away these, from there. Yeah. These people wouldn't even look twice. I, I mean, back during the beginning of last generation, people were saying, "It's I, I buy American. I wouldn't buy nothing. That's like, like, come on, bro. Like, let's be real here, bro. Like, uh, Japanese games and all those other types of styles of games, even indies. Remember last gen, PlayStation yeah. 4 was the indie station, and it was sparse, and no one, indies aren't real games, and all this bullshit. Right. Like, this isn't something that was just... The, the the talking points and, and, and the things that's happening now aren't things that just started happening this generation. Yakuza is a, gen is a, is a series that has been around since PlayStation 2 or 3. I could be wrong. Somebody going to correct me. I think it was 2. But it's, no, 2, it's, two. You're 2, right? Two. Yeah. It's yeah. been around yeah. since PlayStation 2. You tell me you hated PlayStation that long? <laughs> you, yeah. you hated Japanese games that long that you this is what I'm trying to say. It's like these talking points and in, 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 in the stuff that's happening now, it's stuff that has yeah. continuously been happening. Now, you, to your point, yeah, mm -hmm. there's, there's definitely people going into stores and going into games, uh, game stops or wherever and wanting to buy this or buy that or what. Yes, I, I agree with you, but those are anecdotal experiences. On a grander scale, people oh, yeah. did not want to support Japanese titles or indies well, to I that. Agree. Or well, indies to that. Well, and I know, this, and I'm not disagreeing with that because I do think, and, and and I think people walking into a store or doing anything when it comes to game, I still think that's a very minimum thing that's happening. I do think it's getting bigger and bigger and more widespread, but it still hasn't hit that fever pitch where even Microsoft wants it to hit yet. But I will, but I will say this though, when it comes to games just being on like how you just basically said like people were downing games like Yakuza and stuff because I don't want to play that's JRPG I'm not in really into that type of stuff and they just kind of you know talk bad about it and just keep moving but mm -hmm. the difference is a lot of people let's be for real people talk bad about stuff that they either just don't have the they can't afford and this it just comes down to and it comes back down to money and stuff. Like if you really can't afford it and it looks interesting, but it seems like to be a, a, a W for somebody mm -hmm. else on another platform that you actually support, you might talk bad about it just because. I mean, I'm not saying that it should be a right thing, but now that people have something like Game Pass, where literally for a low barrier entry, you got all the games at your disposal and you're willing to try stuff because you you know you it was something you were never interested in before. Then you're gonna start seeing people say like, "Oh, this was actually pretty good. I, I, I wish I would have gave this a chance before. Would they have given it a chance at a sixty dollar price mm -hmm. tag? No, because it's not a game that they were really truly interested in. That was a really good shot right there, Mooch. Um, Thank you. But they that's where they I practice. Really, <laughs> <laughs> they were. It's something that they probably were never interested. Hey, in. I think. Where, where's this? Like, we played Warzone, by the way. Crap, you haven't played Warzone with me in like four months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but so I've never <laughs> seen this kind of mood. I You're play, like dude. Terminator, man. This is what we do, man. This is. I told you, the great Stephen Vincent. You gotta meet. You gotta <laughs> yeah. meet James Vincent. You gotta meet James Vincent. Dude. Yeah. This dude's been like my hey, protege. Hey, I, I, I play with James. Dude, James is no he's joke. dude. That's the yeah. guy. That's how you warm up. Sorry, Forte. We, we brap. No, no, you're good. <laughs> so, no, you're good. No, but, I think the one thing that people really. 
I think you got to think about the one thing when they talk about the engagement around Game Pass. I don't really think about how many players are playing these games and stuff. When they game. when they come out and talk about Halo Infinite and it's going to have two million Forte people or three million game. people playing it day one, that's not really the number you should be really paying attention to. I always pay attention to the number where they talk about how many people are playing games that like how many games are being played <laughs> in genres that were never really being played on our system before. Like, like I can tell you right now. Scarlet Nexus is a game that if it was in Game Pass mm -hmm. would probably sell way better on X not not better than on PlayStation of course but it would probably sell better on Xbox because people would actually try the game out play it and then it would get more but sales see, on Xbox. But see we got to be careful fact, with the but, word better no, for take is better I, 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 No listen cuz I would say people, that I would no, say no, that no, because people, because Yakuza did the same that's thing. People, no. no, people will go out. I'm not, listen, if you, it could be six that's people, not happening, Forte. It, listen, it could be six people and 600 Forte. people. Six people. Right, that's six what I'm trying to say. When you say better, okay. like the number that's subjective, like oh, be... I'm not, yeah, I'm not talking yeah, about it's going to be it's... this astronomical number. Right. I'm just saying it's going to be better. It's okay. going to be better than what it was before. You got a shit ton of bills to pay, Booch. I know. I want to say shout out to Jeff. Yeah, the, one thing, the one thing yeah, that Jeff, I, 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 the one thing that Jeff Grubb says, I want to hear Worry's comment, comment to it. I, I do want to say what Jeff Grubb said here. I like what he says. This is what does make me enjoy Game Pass. He says people act like indies aren't real games because they're right. trying to protect their wallets. That's a point in Game Pass's favor that it encourages people to bypass those biases. I do agree with Jeff there because games like The Ascent, and I see a lot of people say, even a lot of the uh, PlayStation fans that are in the chat right now, they're saying, Mooch, The Ascent looks pretty good. I I'm looking really forward good. to The Ascent, but I'm looking forward to The Ascent because it's in Game Pass. That would be a game that I can tell you right now that I would have never bought ever. But Game Pass allows me to play a game like The Ascent. Um, what? I mean, well, look. I, well, hey, I probably wouldn't play the Ascent. I probably wouldn't I play really? it. If the Ascent wasn't going to be in Game Pass, I would have bought it. I would have bought it too. I, I don't. Yeah. I, I no. Yeah. Listen to me though. It's not the money though. That's where it's not the money factor that I wouldn't have bought the Ascent. There's other games coming out that are a triple of triple A magnitude that just take up my time. That's why yeah. I wouldn't have played the Ascent. But I will dabble with the Ascent because it's in Game Pass and it's sitting there whenever right. I get to it. So right. and that's and, and that's and that's kind of to Jeff's point. That's that, Jeff's point, right? Yeah, like you know, it's more people are, are going to give it a try because the the you, we have to be honest. Like a a you put a price on something, it's a barrier. It's the reason why a lot of the multiplayer games that come out now, the 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 model now is to make it free. And if you hook them, if they really like the game, they like playing the game, then you can get money out of them through cosmetics, right. microtransactions, shit, battle shit, passes, like, whatever. They tried that with Destruction All-Stars, and that game just wasn't... Well, it's got to be a game that people want to yeah. play. It's got to be a good game. So, it's got right. to be in Game Pass. If, so if it's in Game Pass, it breaks down the barrier. But if it's still got to be a good game... It's still got to, which yes, it does need to be a game that people want to play, but right. the, especially for Destruction All Stars, people said that this game didn't look like a sixty or seventy dollar game. Yeah. It being made, it being free or or you know being in PS Plus or whatever, it would it keep the community thriving and all yeah. this bullshit. Uh, they needed to add bots into the game because no one's playing it. Right. So it's like yep. okay, right. So uh, look, yeah, the game yeah. was in PS Plus. Yeah. You still didn't yep. play it. it mm -hmm. Like. W w what more does someone need to do? Like, you want me to cut your meat? You want me to pay your rent? Like, what? What, what is it that people need to do to get you to play the game? You right. know what I'm saying? Game. That's it. <laughs> Literally, that's going to be it. Because, like, that game, there's nothing more that Sony could do to help that game. No. The game was never. No, after, after all, but you know what, though? But, but to, answer, to answer the question yeah. that, that Persona kind of throws up there is uh, eventually Sony and Microsoft can only provide so much. Of a, then then the game has to take care of the consumer itself. Yeah. Right. And, and, and the truck yeah. And also just didn't do that. It didn't do that yeah. with the consumer. Right. It just didn't. The thing is, is, is for My me, like, with the Ascent, right? Like people are like, to me, this looks like a PC game. It's top down. Looks like Wasteland 3. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that shit's not my style at all. So I know for a fact that for most average console gamers aren't going to give two shits about this game i think it plays more you like a, a like a diablo but a sh you know action shooter right it's a sci-fi rpg yeah but Top wasteland down. wasteland well maybe it is more like a wasteland then i don't know yeah, I, wasteland maybe 3. diablo is an action rpg in, in we, a sense so wasteland, i mean it's like wasteland. it's an isometric rpg but it's an rpg yeah, fucking you know? isometric shit <laughs> 
Oh, don't hit on isometric. <laughs> <crap>. Come on. <laughs> crap. Some, of the, some of the best games are isometric. Um, it's a the return of game play? Oh. It's not a gameplay. It's a point of view, man. Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I want, I want to hear, wor- I want to hear worry. I want to hear worry, worry. By the way, Little tiny people yeah, on the screen. Get out of here. That hurts you, crap. <laughs> Did we tiny get people on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> crap. I think, I think crap people. was abused by the isometric game at one point in his life. Jeez. I know, man. Uh, I guess- know, I'm just saying you won't catch me playing that. I mean, look, to to everybody can like what they want, just like I can dislike what I want. Like isometric games, I, I you know, I don't uh, on a console. Eh. Crap, are you, you're a dude, bro. I get it. You're a dude, bro. Dude, yeah, bro. Yeah, like I mean, hey, by dude, by the way, Mooch, congrats on the yeah. uh, on the platinum on that. Thank you. Yes, uh, Guapzilla in the chat yeah, was like, Mooch, are you going to talk about it, buddy? I got to be honest with you. Me and Persona were having like a 20 minute conversation before the show started. I'm not kidding oh, you. Oh, I locked up and froze when I found that last cipher, that last uh, xenoglyph, whatever they want to call it or categorize it as. That room did nice. not appear for me in Biome Two. I'm swear to God, I ran Biome Two 60 times. Back and front. You can do both sides of it. And no joke, no joke. When that appeared, I was like, yeah. I just like, I was like, oh my God. And I just stared at it. And I'm like, I hope this is recording. I'm like, please record. Because I don't even want, I didn't want to leave the screen. I didn't want to go into home and then make sure it was, rec- no. I just went up, I, I touched it and it was recording. And I was like, great. That's great. I'm like, oh my God. But I, I got to be honest with you guys. This game for me personally, and this is, this is like that counter to the whole Game Pass thing. This game was this game cost me seventy dollars. I put a hundred and twenty hours into it. Now that's platinuming it. If you don't want to platinum it, I'm telling you right now, you're still well over fifty hours into this game. And yeah. again, depending on how you want to juggle it yourself, I, th- this game, man, I, I, it's my, it's. I don't like to say game of the year when you're sitting uh, comfortably in the month of June, right? There's you still many it months. You better for than it. Ratchet and Clank. Yes. Damn. Yes. This is, like- I did not. I'm probably halfway through Ratchet and Clank, but but Mooch. I this game you know is, it is, speaks bro? to me. Mooch, you like Souls games? That's what it, is. I, it is. That's I love. You know what it is? Yeah, Thank you, Ben. Yeah. I love the challenge. That's what I was gonna say. The challenge in this game yeah, is just immense. And, I, and you know what's funny? People use the word platinum. Platinum has different levels of measurement here. And I was talking to no, uh, you Persona about this. this shit. This game here is a true bona fide. I feel like, like literally, I feel like House Marquis drove to my house when I got this, got out of the car. They were wearing white gloves, handed me handed me my platinum trophy, and they were like, enjoy this, and then left. I actually felt like I earned something Luke, with it, this game. You were like getting, Mark getting, Messier getting the when returnal, he won Stanley Cup 94. Getting, getting the <laughs> Returnal Platinum is definitely like a, a really good sense of accomplishment yes it Especially felt like you that look at, i mean this might be this might just be me i won't put this on everyone that has gotten a platinum but seeing the the, the people complain that it's too hard it's just a good it, feeling to be like, it's, it's really not it's feeling. really not that hard the, the hardest part of getting yeah. the platinum is just finding the damn in the regenerated maps the the, the, the ciphers well, or the, the zeno you know, it's also understanding is, uh, the patterns like go ahead, go ahead. You, know, you know what the problem is the dudes don't read a lot. Oh, like, yeah. uh, and they're now reading. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh read, don't go read. there. Don't go there, man. Hey, uh, Big Cloud, are you saying, are you saying, Big Cloud, are you saying one dude doesn't read? Just one dude? No, no, I'm just saying a lot of dudes don't read, man. Oh. I think you mean shout one to my boy. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy. Yeah, shout out to my boy. He did a great stream, though, in all honesty. Who's he good, but man, oof. Oh, yeah, it's, man. Like, it's like Recore. Wait, would you say a bit? I couldn't hear you. It's like Recore. Stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> Brad. Oh man! Uh, but uh, I do have some super chats here. Let me get I the hear worries. Oh, I, I, I do want to hear worries on 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 game. We're not done discussing that. Uh, the great Sir X Man says buff, uh, buffets exist so you can try something that you've never eaten before that you might end up liking. But that's the truth. You can't tell me I'm wrong. The great Sir X Man, I appreciate that. Erodimus, if I'm saying it right, Erodimus, Erodimus. I can tell him he's wrong. Erodimus. Rodimus. And you, oh, oh, bro, well, hold You've on to it. Hold on to it, worry. Transformers, huh? I know. I I, I just don't say that yeah. right. I read yeah. it wrong. It's like my eyes see. Uh, it's like the 3D picture the wrong way. Uh, we talk about Game Pass, but publishers are not making demos available and raising the price of games and adding microtransactions for buggy games. What um, are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, uh-huh. I got this year. I'm sorry, I got it. Oh, you're gonna get personas. Like, I'm gonna have to leave the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sir X Man comes next. I repeat what happened. More demos, more free demos this year, games before they release, and I've played in a long time. 
Yeah, it's been um, quite a few demos. demos out right now for two JRPG. I'm sorry, about it. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. you're right. He said, "Please, please no, continue no, reading." That, please. I, I, <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of surprised by the super chat because there's a lot of demos out right now. By the there way, there are a lot. If, of you, demos. if you go on the like, PlayStation Five store right now and just look at the demo section, there's demos for majority of the games that have released this. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, they're 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 definitely out there. I don't. Yeah, again, you have to look for things. You have to actually research and look, but they are out there. Even on PC, which is the best place to play games, there's a lot of demos. According to Brap, uh, the great Sir X-Man comes back. He says, I "Repeat, what happened to the damn?" Oh, he's saying, "What happened to the damn game testers?" He's saying quality control issue. I'm a little behind here, guys, on our topics. New Soul Nine says, "I'm calling it right now. Xbox investment in studio is going to pay off. 2023, 2024. Do you guys feel?" I it called that three years ago. Have come sooner, like 2021, 2022. No, you so, did crap. You know, <laughs> that's a great so, question. Essentially, essentially what you're saying I, I is people the gotta monster. wait. Yeah, that's right. People crap. that spent five hundred dollars gotta wait longer. Cool. Yes, that's right. Cool. But you know, yeah, the last part of the, waiting. But the last part of his question but, actually holds water. He said, "Do you guys feel wait. it should have come sooner, like 2021, 2022?" Here's my thing about it, and I've mentioned this a few times on the show. And worry, this is where I'll kind of go to you because I think you can speak off of this as well. When we saw that Microsoft kind of took their foot off the pedal in 2015, 2016, and they really focused and honed in on the Xbox Series X and then what would have been the Xbox Series S, we weren't aware of it back then, but we knew a new console, one, at least one new console was on the way. We thought that when we got to 2020, yes, games were going to be coming quite uh, quickly, kind of flying at you, to be honest with you, because they hadn't done a whole lot between 2015 and 2020. I know we had Gears of War, uh, but other than that, there was it was, kind of, and, and we had Sea of Thieves. But we already d- discussed that, uh, except for those games that we really were waiting to see what they were going to have. And here we are now. We're told at 2020, like Persona just said, you bought a 500 dollars box. And like, they just wait till 2023. It's going to be great. Which I don't think anybody's really doubting that they're going to be really pumping out games. But the question then is again. Are you going to enjoy those games? Just because the games are coming doesn't mean it's a game you want to play. Yes, I understand you'll click on it, you'll dabble, you'll become a statistic for Game Pass, but will you actually complete the game? Will you play the game? Will you enjoy the game? Those are questions yet to be to be answered. People keep on saying Starfield all day on Twitter. That's all I see. Thank God for Starfield. Then you ask them what it is, and they're like, it's Starfield. Oh, <laughs> thanks for that description. Right, Ben? I mean, Ben, you should do a video tomorrow, uh, a two-hour in in-depth... Man. Space man go bye bye. Bick, yeah, can you yeah, exactly Bick, can you do a two hour in depth uh, uh analysis of Starfield? I, I nobody can. Yeah, sure, if I can find what the fuck is about. <laughs> right? That's what I'm trying to say. Um but that that's one of the things I say. Yes, games are coming, but what games are coming and are they gonna be good games? That's the question I mean, like, we need to ask like we had ourselves. This before. Their heavy hitters are coming out in twenty twenty three. Right. Hellblade two. Avowed? What was it out? Yeah, Everwild? Everwild? They just Hellblade come out 2023. Everwild's not coming out in yeah. 2023. No. Hey, they rebooted I, I that whole Everwild or Fable. They, they rebooted that whole game. game. Everwild, yep. Fable, and, and Hellblade too. I, I think that's 2024, bro. Well, yeah, you can say Fable I'm and Everwild is further back. Yeah, but I'm saying like I think oh, Everwild's coming out in 2024. The three I'm biggest lies re- that we got from game. Microsoft, even after they promised not to do that anymore, was. The Hellblade 2 CGI, the Ever the Everwild CGI, and the 2019 Halo CGI. Those were all three totally fake and mm-hmm. totally nonsense. I mean, basically lies to get people to buy their platform. And uh, you can, you don't have to believe me, but 343 even said they were surprised by the Halo 2019 trailer because they didn't know anything about it, right? Their game didn't look like that. So their game looked like what we saw in 2020. Right, you know, which was that, which was Craig, Craig the Brute, <laughs> you know, Hellblade Two. That game is going to be on Unreal Five. How the fuck could it be shown at in any capacity in 2019? And now we know that game is in pre-production right now. But right. Nobody's talking about this shit. How the Dude, hell how is Red that Fall? game in pre-production? Oh. Yeah. How? I don't understand. Dude. How? How? Know, how? They said they were just getting out of pre-production. Just now, <laughs> yeah, just so, now. So it was in, it, Bro, that game is at least two years. I'm it's telling you now, that game is at least two years out. It's yeah, two years. That, that game, at least two years. Yeah. You know, two at least two years of actual full on production before that game can, you can be in a state then, the state. Then, here's the thing: being released. What 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 did Phil Spencer say a while back? He said, "Uh, we don't want to show you games that are at least two years or more." <laughs> right. Shut up. Well, you know what though, you know, in Persona, so but so Persona, I'm going to defend. This is this I'm is what def- they all do. This is what they all do. They tell you what they think you need to hear 
mm-hmm. in the moment. He had mm-hmm. nothing to show you. Right. So his answer to to where the game's at was, we don't want to show you something that's too far out. But no, but that's not slow mo. Let me ask you. Let me follow up with this show. question. But when you game show was the most getting games incredible. into production, then hey. they started to show you stuff that's years and years out because now he actually got something that he could potentially show you. Now, now slow mo. Yeah. Let me let me ask, let me, let me follow up. Let me follow up with this slow mo. Uh, is Phil Spencer a liar? They yo, they're all liars. You're all liars. Okay. I was say, like, so yeah, yeah. Thank We're going to see the same energy that Jim Ryan get though. Are. Yeah, right, Jim, okay. I say the same thing about Jim Ryan. I say the same thing about Jim Ryan. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, that, that's, that's what I said. They're all like, they all do it. They all are salesmen. We are customers. We are consumers. We they not our friends. They're not going to tell us. They just going to tell you what you want to hear in the moment. What what, what what they want you to hear in right. order to get you to buy their products. That's right. all. That, that's well, that's that, 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 a shame that Phil. Uh, Phil, Phil in particular comes across as everybody's buddy and then says, literally, we're not going to show you games that are two to three years out. We're not going to show trailers to games that are two to three years out. And, le- and literally, that's what he did to get people to buy into his the platform. same year again. he like, said that he did that. <laughs> because up. basically, no, what, what happened was he says this at an E3 where they didn't show shit. And he's like, I know you guys want to see triple A's and we have them in the pipeline. We do. Trust me. We do. We got them coming. I'm excited about the shit we didn't show. But you got to believe me when I say two to three years, we're not going to show you stuff. We don't want to go down that same route we did with Crackdown and, uh, you know, uh, what the hell is that? Scalebound and all that stuff where we announced it too early. We want to wait until stuff is ready to come out. We're not going to announce stuff that's two to three years out anymore. And I'll be damned if they didn't do that again, man. Hellblade was announced in 2019. That shit's not coming before 2024. Uh, yeah. You know, Everwild, same deal. Yeah, Who knows but... about Fable? All these games that were announced in 2020, those are at least two to three years out. So that 100, percent they went back on their word. And, yeah, and but if we, but, but hey, we go, hey, well, real quick, we were ready to crucify hey. them if they didn't show anything. Can though. we? Uh, can we, they didn't can, show much this past yet year. I mean, it's still, it's still. But, hey, but look, look, we we were arguing on these panels and all these podcasts before. Like, dude, just show us logo. Show well, that's, show us so what you're working Forte's, on. Forte's. I got to agree. To, I got to agree with Forte. But, hey, but that, like, no one's Here's gonna. Nobody's we, gonna. Nobody's gonna take say that Microsoft wasn't in the wrong for making people wait an entire generation to be able to get their first party. Well, what else? But hold together. on, take, take a step back that, here. That's Forte. the biggest. That's the biggest. Can, Forte, get worst thoughts. I know. Hold on. Everything's kind of we're like twenty steps beyond. Right, we're, Hold on. We're, 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 you can chime in whenever you want. But I just I, Forte made a good point there, and that's what I was gonna say. The only thing where I will defend Phil here, and hear me out, guys, is that it's what slow mo and persona were just saying. They're no matter you're talking about Phil or you're talking about Ryan, you're talking about you salesmen. Talking about- Phil and, Harrison about all the stuff they said they were going to put. But the thing is, is we media. did say we did yeah. say show yeah. us any, and I I agree with this. I don't have a problem at all with showing me something that's three four years out because you know what it does. It at least gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling that something is on the way. That's better than mm-hmm. nothing, right? I have something in the meantime. Right, we'll have something in the meantime. Exactly, but, exactly. But, crap, right, right, exactly. That's well, not I mean, saying, but you like, can have something. Worry, we worry. can say we can say that. Games out of, out of thin <laughs> air. It just is what it worry, is. Worry, worry. All right, worry, worry. Go worry, ahead. Worry. I apologize. Please no, take no, the it's mic. Fine. Go ahead. I'm just listening. No, what are worry? Come on, worry. <laughs> uh, I was going to talk about the the buffet comment about how it helps you try things out you would never try before. Right. Trust me, if you go to a buffet and they say they have filet mignon and shepherd's pie and you sit down and you eat it, you're going to convince yourself that that's filet mignon and shepherd's pie. If you go to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant and have (laughs) filet mignon and and shepherd's pie, you're not going back to that buffet ever again. Right. So don't, you know, it's absolutely ridiculous. The other thing that I'm seeing that I think is really, really troubling is that people are now not buying anything. There are people saying, I'm not ever going to buy a game ever again. I'm just going to wait. Because it's going to be in Game Pass, or it might go to Game Pass. These are people with thirty plus years in gaming who are like, you know what? I'm just not going to buy games anymore because it's in Game Pass. Right. I don't understand the mentality behind. If you go through an entire generation, I know people like this. This last generation, they didn't play Ghost of Tsushima. They have a PS4. They didn't play Last of Us Two. They have a PS4. They didn't play Spider Man. They have a PS4. They didn't play Horizon. They have a PS4. Why do you have a PS4? Well, I have a gaming channel. Okay. Or <sighs> Oh, I know point. people who love. I know people. <laughs> I know someone who loves baseball. Right? They love shit. baseball. Never played oh, MLB the show. Never played MLB the show. Okay, the game pass. But they had a PlayStation. 
Like, oh what? man, I, 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 like, I like I like Worry War. I like this. Oh, that was, yeah. that was a good. Worry, worry a good makes some right great there. great I mean, points. That's, that's I like what I don't guy. understand. If, if you've been playing games your entire life, the idea of purchasing video games should never go away. Yeah, I and, I, and I, I no subscription service, no subscription service is worth that. And if you're playing games for thirty plus years and now you're only playing, this is another thing that leads to this problem with these games and Game Pass. They're not buying games, so everything at Game Pass gets an instant defense, right. like the Dungeons and Dragons game. I've played that game. The game is terrible. Okay, the lock on the combat mechanics, it's horrible. But it's, it's fun. A, it's fun with friends. It's a high end Xbox 360 game with great lighting. But Boy, I'm hearing people fun, talk about it's how it's friends. incredible. It's it's one of the best looking games I've ever seen. What? Yeah, this is what I worry. Let me ask you something. Hey, worry, worry, worry. Wait, wait, real quick. Let worry. The the one thing I've seen about that game is that I've seen I've actually seen people say, "Oh, you know what? No. The gameplay mechanics are not that great, but it's fun with friends." Okay, but listen, everything that you can do in that game and have fun with friends, just like what we did in Sea of Thieves, you can do in a party chat without playing a game, and have just as much fun. It has nothing to do with Yo. the game. It has to do with the people talking to one another. Absolutely. Yeah, that yeah, That's like that, that whole fun with friends stuff. I, I I don't understand that. Like when people use that as their excuse, and I'm mm -hmm. like, like that fun with friends shit. You guys got to throw that out the window. Is the game good? If you were playing this, would you play this by yourself? Like Destiny, but, I hate to bring it back there. We not, but I could play Destiny by myself and and have a you grandiose what? time. Like persona, if, if you're if you're a company. Oh, by the way, Brap. Yeah. The best place to play games PC that stands for PlayStation centric. Oh, no, it does oh. not stand for that. That's great. No, I just agree with that. Worry, uh, I'm, I'm shipping a PC to your house as we speak, and um, it's going to go right out the window because Microsoft Windows is on it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, it's not. Uh, PC. No, no, Windows you know in my house except the ones that are on the house. He can get you. <laughs> he can get you one with Linux on it. Oh, I could, it's even worse. Shout out to or Alvin Apple, in the in the super Apple. chat. He says a common misconception is that most people who use Game Pass don't only use Game Pass. It's supplemental yeah, to our hobby. Difference. We also buy games. And you know, Alvin, there was somebody else in the chat here just a second ago in the live well, chat. The I was looking at indicate that though, right? And they're not. CE you Tech say, say that again, Ward. What did you say, Ward? Ward? I said, wouldn't the sales charts indicate that when it comes to Xbox games and PlayStation games that are I third said party? That earlier. <laughs> that are third said party. I was wrong. And it doesn't indicate that. Yeah, I said you know, that earlier. Wait, wait, wait. I said well, that two, earlier. To Worry's point, three times the amount of people playing on PlayStation, though. But to Worry's point, about, no. but but to why Worry's point why is that? But no, you, you can't say why. You can't say why is that and still no, use the same. No, it's a, and use the, they use the same that? argument by saying that people don't Forte. buy games on PlayStation versus the people that buy them on PlayStation. I didn't say that. Like buying he more never said that for a Yeah, because and there's literally three audience. times the player base. Well, why, are the, why is there three times the player base? Because the people that were on PlayStation this generation didn't have a reason to buy an Xbox this generation. No, why is that? Why is that, though, Forte? Oh, it's it's because Xbox didn't give them a reason to buy it. I always no, no, Forte, but but, but, that, but that games, still doesn't though. change the but that still doesn't change the fact that people that do play on Xbox do buy games. They just don't buy. They just don't buy games. Forte, Forte, let me let me. I love it. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time, guys. One at a time. Before we started this, I buy games. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so if they're content and you're content. Right. With the same people every generation, not growing it at all. If you're content with that, then that's fine. That's fine. The mm. same people every generation will buy an Xbox. It won't grow, and everything's great. Right. Well, let all me right, ask. Yeah, so wait, I, I have a question. That. I have a question for worry. So Jeff Grubb said the sales charts do indicate that, and I and I, I want to go back and, and look at because he said look at Outriders. Outriders did say that they sold. Well, Outriders is dead. It is. Yeah, I it's think. Bad. Yeah, I think it's a dead game it's too bad. at this point. We're, we're yeah. cherry picking these games. The sales it's charts do not indicate that Xbox is selling more games than PlayStation. It just does. Well, 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 we know well, they're well, not well, going to well, sell more than PlayStation. The engage, That's the, the whole engagement, reason. though. But they're talking engagement. The reason that they're not selling more is because they're not growing their audience by giving them something to buy the Worry, worry, hold on. It's Corey, impossible for now. Xbox to outsell PlayStation when you have a much smaller install base. That's not the argument that you were proposed. You were proposed 
that people were not buying the games because they were in Game Pass, correct? And some people, yes. Okay, well, so, some people, yeah, I've seen that before too. Right. I do believe they are the vast. However, minority. there is more software being sold on PlayStation than Xbox. Okay, so that, that has nothing to do with this conversation. Because it nothing to do with what it. Xbox gamers are doing with games that go into Game Pass. Mm. That has nothing to do with PlayStation. But why, he brought up why is it to he that? Brought, and wait, regard, so wait a minute, wait, 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 guys. Hold first on. of all, wait, slow mo, slow mo, guys. Hold on a second. Wait, slow mo's right. He I, but but point. hear me out. He brought up a point that Xbox right. is giving people a reason to buy the console. And my point is the reason why more consoles are sold, more games are sold on PlayStation, is because PlayStation is giving people a reason to purchase it. And games that, that are mediocre in Game Pass isn't going to grow the console console beyond the people who are already buying it every generation it's not worry i do well, agree with you with that all i'm saying is that i i it is false that the games that have come out that have that have been in game pass mm -hmm. have not had a bump in sales according to the people right. who have put their games in game Pass. some of the games and we've seen it tangibly with outriders and mlb the show so right. I can tell you where we didn't MLB see it tangibly. The show charted on MPD for right. sales, and you you don't get no one who plays the game through Game Pass. None of that is seen on MPD. It only will chart in a in a slow month. In a, in a slow month, it charted for sure. Hey, we, um, can't, I, we can't. I, I, we can't. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to point something out. I wanted to point something out though about this game pass thing. Crap, go ahead. Hold on. I wanted to point something out. Gears of War Five. Gears of War Five suffered. Gears of War Five suffered in game sales due to it being Game Pass. Prove me wrong. It has, suffered in sales. It has nothing to do with that's that's being that's 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 actually, that, actually, that's not true. It is true. I can show you an article that points it out that says no, this is I, the I worst think, selling Gears game no. because no, it's actually, in think, Game Pass. I think, I think not Gears only that, 5 actually sold they had, more than Gears 4. No, no, no. Phil Spencer said that, but he didn't elaborate on more at launch or whatever. It was the lowest rating. It, it only it hit number seven in the charts oh. that month and then was out of the but top guys, 20 the following okay. month. It only now... But they only had three million players. Three million players, not sales. They announced three million players okay, that okay. week, and yo, then yo. never came back and never yeah, announced anything worry. else. I mean, worry. Yeah, yeah, crap. You actually, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right, man. But you had three million players. That 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 they were talking about engagement numbers. So they had, they actually was higher than Gears Four. So we we have to kind of remember something with like Gears like Three Pass. though had three had over a million pre-orders. But yeah, those millions of we got, we got we got to remember the something. Gears franchise. We, we got to remember. But we got to merge them with the Game Pass. At the end of the day, for Microsoft, and this is the thing with them, they they don't care about that one sale anymore. They care about the reoccurring revenue and like as Mooch has called it, the uh, gym membership. That's right. Like, yeah, but what does that lead like, to? What kind of content does that lead to? I I don't know. That's Rory, that's the they, question. But 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 they care about money. As every well, everyone you create a company money. does, yeah. Well, I mean, so, why do you think so Gears is taking such a long break? See, so see, at the end of the it. day, at the end of the day, if they if they hit fifty million subscribers in Game Pass, mm -hmm. as I've been told, they'll right. make more money than they ever will releasing a big AAA game well, that's successful. So that, and they were just, all paying fifteen dollars a month, not 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 the free one dollar upgrade. Yeah, but but I, I like oh, I told wait, you, wait, I just okay. have I just but, have one person again. today that just walked in and spent a hundred and twenty bucks on Game Forte, but still, no, no, but that's just Forte, one person. That's Forte, there's a bunch Forte, of people that do Forte, that, though. That's a not bad a, example, not, Forte. No, 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 no. You don't know. You know there's a bunch you, of people. No, you have those numbers. So you're trying to say, so you're trying to say Wait, that Forte, there's, you so, have so, those numbers. You, so what you would you put as a percentage, Brad? Bra so hold on, Brad, let, let him talk. So are we going to say zero? Let him talk. So are we going to say zero? Are we going to say one percent, two percent? So what do you say, Forte? I'm not the one making no, no, the claim. No, 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 no. Forte, I'm saying that I just said you, one Forte. person. I just Forte, said one no, person. Said I only gave you one Forte, person. I said there's you other said people, there's that, other do people that do that too. So now are you going to backtrack. are you are you going to deny Forte, and say there's more than one? Now you want to backtrack, Forte, because you can't provide You got you got guys that are in the listen. You guys got guys in the chat saying one at a time. Listen, why you bring it up? 
Here, listen, okay, let's. Go I got a right. bunch of super chats here, Nate. All are asking listen, Big, some serious I, I heard questions. Bigfoot walked into a GameStop yesterday and bought a Switch. <laughs> he probably did. He probably, he probably did. got mad because they ain't I don't have, have any Switch. pictures or anything like that or proof, but it happened. I'm it telling you. He, he probably did. mad that they ain't have Switch Pros. <laughs> Sir X Man says, I love Game Pass games. for all my Final Fantasies. Uh, I, I'm going to be trying to miss anybody here because I do want to say uh, Borber Con 3 comes back again. He says, Too many first person on Xbox makes me sick. Well, he's not a fan of that. Shout out to the great Jay Barry who's in the chat. Jay says, Game Pass cappers need to stop. We see the agenda. Majority of the Game Pass games are in PlayStation Now. Bethesda games been in PlayStation Now. Everyone is quiet. Microsoft spends $7.5 billion to get those games in Game Pass. It's oh my God. Jay That's what I don't understand. Like, What yeah. is the instant defense to this service? I'm not saying it's a bad service. What is this instant defense? I don't know. That's where I'm questioning. And trying to prove that titles sell more if they're in Game Pass. Okay, if they sold five copies on the Xbox before and now they're selling ten, that's a hundred percent increase. Wow, that's, that's like incredible. that Japanese. That's like that Japanese thing, Worry, where everybody's like, it's their biggest growing market, and then it went from selling like two hundred to four hundred. Yeah, well, right. It's, their, it's it like their biggest market. I mean, believe it or not, it is. Yeah, I mean, they went to 400. That's crazy. They almost... They well, almost, I mean, uh, I understand that. That's my point. But I mean, th this is what I don't understand. Yeah, okay. Oh, Outriders, it sold more. It sold more on PlayStation and the game is dead. Right. Game Pass did nothing for that game. So I, I'm not saying it's a bad service. I'm subscribed to it. It could get better. I don't understand this instant love of a surface. What are you going to do? Like, if there's no Xbox anymore, there's no there's no console. You're going to have a picture of a Game Pass app on your phone and like stare at it and talk about how great it is. <laughs> this is worry, great. Worry, worry. worry. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you're speaking of, of, of me of of saying that. I, I don't know if, if that's no, not you. No. Okay. All, all, all I'm saying is that like I haven't been here for an hour. Is, how do I know what you said? It is. It is. Grow you know, like games that go in there and out outriders did sell, you know, it did sell as well as be in Game Pass. That's all I was saying. Like I'm not I'm not a no no, 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 no not he's not go ahead, Rally. No, I'm for just saying that if something sells five and then all of a sudden because of Game Pass it sells ten, okay, that's great, right? Mm -hmm. But you can't ignore all the other data out there on every other that's, platform that's a very, that doesn't have it, a service. That's a great thing to hear. I wish a lot of people would hear what he's saying right there. And this isn't, again, no, slow-mo, not at all. He's talking about all the people on social media. Like, everyone is just immediately say, well, it sold more because of Game Pass. And you have then you have the Outriders developers, but like, if it wasn't for Game Pass, we wouldn't have sold more on Xbox. But what is more? That's, that's what we've been see, saying that's forever. That's they that's never the, the say thing, the numbers. Like, well, see, but that's the, that's the thing you also have to understand as well. It's a, it's, a, it's a caveat to that right. because on on Xbox. So in theory, yes, that's that is great because it's true. But when you put it in the grant in the in the general terms, right? Yeah, in the general terms, that's not that great. So the developers are right; they're not lying. They're not fluff. There's no fluff. No, that is the truth. That that's true. But put it up against the grand scheme of how the game did overall, it's a drop in a bucket. Right. I, I agree with you. And, 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 and I'm just like, if, if that's what I'm trying to say. So... I'm trying to say that I understand that people, I understand what you're saying. It makes sense. But my problem is the people that say that and they know they're doing it to fluff. That's the problem I have. Mm. Don't like, don't fluff me. You know what I mean? No unless fluffing worry work. Unless bastards. I'm in between, unless I'm in between scenes. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Look, if Outriders, I don't know the, the, the percentages, now, the right? But if Outriders sold, say, 70% on PlayStation, 20% on PC, okay. I don't know if those yeah. are the actual splits. It may be a little bit more on PC than, and then a little bit right. less on PlayStation, whatever, right? And then, but only so like, 10% on Xbox. Right. Or... or it would have been what they projected would have been 10%, but then because of Game Pass, then people liked it, then they bought the game or whatever, how, however it works. It got to 15%. Okay. Yeah, that's a 5% jump. I'm right. sure they they took the bag ahead of time mm -hmm. from Xbox, said, we got the bag, and we got 5% additional sales. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about what we got. So hey, yeah. here's the thing you don't know, though. You don't know, though, how much they spent to get that game in there. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll never know that information. And it's never, I remember actually, I can't remember 
I can't remember who it was. Enrique, was this, was this when we did the show with Benji Sales and Aaron Greenberg showed up in the chat? I can't remember, but somebody, I, I think it was either what someone Xbox executive said that it's different for every single deal. So there isn't right. like a flat or amount of money. No, it's different. Every deal someone. is definitely different. Every deal is completely different. Yes. I think I asked Aaron the question because because when we realized it was really him in the chat, I was just like, well, let me just start asking questions <laughs> and see what he, he'll actually answer. And I asked that. I was just like, how does that process work? Like, do you have a set? Thing that you do to try to get these games or is it or is it somehow like you just like you just wing it and then it just well, gets the deal gets done and it seems like more like the latter you know so who knows what they what they pay the, they, they the like for, for one game and then another game is a bigger game could they could have paid less it just all depended on how it got negotiated Go, go, I, just for want a, I just want a good game and i just want a good single player game from microsoft that's all i want yeah. no fact that, that's all I don't understand from. why. I mean, I, I feel like Game Pass, and I feel like their whole mantra now is against that. I really don't think they're interested in deep single player. I think they're interested in tacked on single player, calling it single player. Like, look at that game that they ended the show with. What was it called? Red something? Redfall. 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 Okay, that's by Arcane. Arcane traditionally did the uh, Dishonored series, which I love. I think they're fantastic mm. games, right? Yeah, but now they're saying, oh, it's a co-op game, but you can play it by yourself. You can play it by yourself, yeah. but it's a co-op It looks like game. a Left 4 Dead clone. It's like Left 4 like Dead, a, yeah. A, a, a blood well, I mean, is, is Game Pass well, leading back for blood? That's the, that's, that's, I don't know about Left 4 Dead. That's, the, that's I mean, the thing, though. It's it's one of those things where a lot of people are banking on the the... It's what it's what the excuse that people are, and I don't want to call it an excuse to to minimize its exper the experience of it, but what do people a lot of people say the game is not that great, but it's fun with friends. A lot of people are that's that's I think that's what a lot of developers are are, are using as their kind of motivation to kind of build yeah. some yeah to build something like like for instance you know not to shit on see at these but what what the fuck did the dev say the dev said oh you go out with your friends and make your own adventure. Bro, I ain't Jack Sparrow, motherfucker. Like, what am I doing in this shit? <laughs> like, right, right, right. I'm not like, yo, like, what I are you did talking that when about? I was 10, right? 11 and 12. Yeah, like, yeah, like I'm, make... I'm a grown well, ass that's... man. Like, re respect my time. You get what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about here? Like, no, you create the game. Or oh, same thing with Grounded. Tell us what you want to store. No, 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 no. I'm doing your job for you, bro. Create the game, and I'll tell you if you did a good job or not. Can it's I? Can I make one, one quick point? Just one quick point. Rather than just keep arguing about this stuff and sales and stuff, you know, it is possible, and, and I, maybe I ha haven't entertained this thought, it is possible that Xbox has just moved beyond certain people and certain types of gamers. I, oh, absolutely. I really, don't feel, I really don't feel like I felt during the 360 era. No. Or even the beginning yeah. of the Xbox One era. I feel like I'm not... But they talk about diversity, and they want, they want to give different types of experience for everyone, but I haven't had anything for me. Yeah. in a long time yeah because yeah. you're talking ever... like a, a great single player experience right yeah and, I, and i'm thinking yeah, am i ever going to get been that? since and like maybe they don't want quantum break maybe they don't want me there yeah 2016. Quantum break was fantastic i love yeah. that game. yeah so i'm saying that's the last time i i mean let me unless you guys can name another one that that comes to mind single player that was their last <laughs> new that was their last new triple a single player IP. like that that's a valid point and a lot of people and i want to say one thing I mean, that corrupted and, corrupted and, boss in the chat hear this out guys he goes i feel like you guys are making game pass out like it's a bad thing game pass is great for players Corrupted boss, it has, it's, my, I'm not yeah. saying it's a bad thing. I think everyone always hears that. I'm and not either. What why, I'm yo, saying. Why do y'all feel like, like, it's like battered wife syndrome with this shit, bro. <laughs> Every time you talk about Game Pass, it's, uh, no, don't do that. It's, that's like, what I don't dude, understand. Dude, I yeah, don't that's the part. Why? People, bro. Like, my why question is. keep feeling like people are like shitting on this service? Bro, it needs to be better. Like, why can't people see that? Yeah. And then I, I when you ask them what they're playing, oh, they're not playing shit. For most of the most of the time, they ain't playing nothing. No, they're not playing anything on Game Pass. Oh, anymore. You know, I know. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I don't. I, I don't understand that. Uh, shout out to AJ Felton. He says Game Pass gave me access to the whole Yakuza franchise, and I beat five of the games, and I'm on Yakuza Six right now, so I get my money's or worth. Can't shout find to a PS Five. Well, let me say this: someone, someone, in the <laughs> someone in the chat goes, "Warrior, you can just get a PS 5 He would if he could. He's trying I to don't find have one. one. I can't get one. Um, yeah, but you can get the whole Yakuza series was, for like thirty dollars. You can get, I, was, I was just gonna say, AJ, yeah. you Yakuza can own Yakuza is on sale right now on PlayStation. Like you get the whole series for like maybe like sixty, seventy, maybe up to like eighty altogether. 
I have every game. And, and you own them. And AJ, fa- and I know AJ. AJ's a big <laughs> fan of like owning his stuff and this and that. So AJ, I know what you're saying as far as getting the. There's definitely value in there for you. I can't say you're not getting that. But you could have played all those. Those Yakuza's have been on sale like for for years now. Ten bucks, twelve bucks, fifteen bucks, and the older ones. The Yakuza series is almost ten years old, man. Yeah, I mean, like you, <laughs> like, you know, what are we doing here, it's bro? not. That's not Come really on, like I get it, yeah, but that, sh- that's, my, that's my thing. Like, if you're interested in a game, why aren't why aren't you playing it when it came out like ten years ago? Why does Game Pass all of a sudden make that game worth it's, you playing it? If you were interested in it, well, that's because it. they weren't they weren't interested in it. Game Pass. But makes didn't that person it makes say they love the Yakuza series and now they're playing it on Game well, Pass. They, well, they probably love it now. I mean, oh, look, okay. I, I, I know how to, I know I know how to parse you know BS when I like look. If you love the like, I'm not gonna wait to play a game. That's just yeah, how I am. So. If it's a game I want to play, I don't care if it's coming day one to Game Pass or it's not. I was up there beating the drum, um, um, Battlefield and Game Pass day one. If it is, it mm-hmm. is. If it isn't, I'm buying. Hey, a, so, so, some, it. Someone pointed version. out in the chat. That you know, they started naming off games like Fable and Avowed and Perfect Dark. Uh, Worry yeah. wants a big AAA single player game that has well, no multiplayer, nothing tacked onto it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, hold that on. I don't be, uh, mind. I'll give you a perfect example, right? On the, uh, I'm playing um, like Ghost of Tsushima, right? Great, yeah. great, great game, right? Right, right. Yeah. And then they added in multiplayer, right? Now, whether or not it's good or not, I, you know, I don't know, but I mean. It's fine that multiplayer is there. I don't care if they're making get a game that has multiplayer. But what I've seen recently from them is that every game is co-op multiplayer, mm-hmm. and the secondary experience, and it's never that good, is single player. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I, I Fable think, allegedly is going to be. Uh, yeah, I hope so. It's going to be really single player. For that. Yeah. Now, now before you you mentioned Redfall. And I yeah. think it was crap that said it, it reminded him of, of Left 4 Dead. Yeah. I actually think that game is going to be, and I know I'm kind of like on my own with this, but who knows because we haven't seen gameplay yet. <laughs> but I, I think that game is more like Borderlands than than uh, Left 4 Dead. You think Just, it's going to be good? You think it's a looter shooter? Not necessarily a looter shooter, but more Borderlands in the the character archetypes. How you Which have game? four different characters with skill trees. What again? Redfall? Uh, yeah, Redfall, Redfall. Yeah, but I, I get the, I get the. Uh, it's, it's, it's. You, I see what you're saying. If you want to say that for the characters themselves and how you level up each character, I'll buy into that totally. What you're saying with the Borderlands thing, but, not but it's, just like the characters, but like the what they show with their characters' abilities you, and the things that they were doing. What was that through, game that Turtle Rock from, made from before, though? Britain. What was that game that Turtle Evolve. Rock made? Before? What was Evolve. it? Evolve. 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 That it's gonna be like that. Oh, oh hell no! It yes. better not be like that. That's Plus, what I think it's gonna be horrible. like. The evolve, uh, but think about it though. Slow mo does fit that narrative you're saying, right? Works like it, it evolve has never worked in a game yet. I, I, I people no. need to stop trying. So, I hopefully, that with the Friday evolve. the 13th. What's that game with dude? Play this is what I'm saying, I, guys. I hate to interrupt you guys. I, I gotta, I gotta bring this up. Capone, shout out to Capone, he's one of my favorite people in the chat. He says something here. He goes, I've never seen so much hate for something that brings value. Then I replied oh, to him, Wait, I said, so, I replied, Wait. I replied with, I've never seen love towards something that's so unproven. And he writes me back, Mooch, Starfield. Like, <laughs> what? There's nothing. What, what is right Starfield? There, like, Capone. <laughs> This is what we've been. Bit, so Bit Cloud, Bit, we need a two-hour documentary done on Starfield. And please, I'll actually, I will, I will, and I will pay for it to be done, Bit, because I don't know what it's about. Capone is saying, you know, it's a great service because of Starfield. My whole point, Capone, and I think we've said this. This is why you guys are like Mooch. Why do you keep bringing it up? Because I don't think the the what I'm saying is actually sinking in. What is Starfield? What is avowed? Nobody but knows. See, that, that's, the, that's the other thing too, though. Like. It's unproven. See, things like that. P- see, people would buy Starfield or, or you know, uh, Elder Scrolls or whatever without Game Pass. It's not like Game Pass. Game Pass is so great because it, it props these games up and, and, you know, it's doing something for the... No, Starfield would sell re- really regardless. Like, it, Absolutely. people are going to... It's yeah. Bethesda. It's Bethesda. But, but, Bethesda has a huge Bethesda, following. Yeah. yeah, Bethesda has a huge oh, following. And, and people Scott are going to buy that. People are going to buy it regardless. It, yeah, it, people it, are going to buy that. You like, know what it is and they're, they're already sold. Yeah, yeah, like, people that, you know, people will buy that game. That's not, you know, Game Pass isn't doing something miraculous here with that. Like, let's be real here. Like, it's Bethesda. Yeah, it comes down to first impressions at the end of the day. With the game. Yeah, like, have, you, have you guys noticed? Have you guys noticed that a lot of the older fans around Xbox? I'm talking like 
original Xbox, Xbox 360. Have you noticed that a lot? I've noticed a lot of people my age, maybe around your guys' ages, have been a bit disenfranchised with Xbox. And it seems to be a much younger crowd now coming in and just, you know, everything's great. It seems like the older people are critiquing more, which I, which I like. I don't know. I've seen some old cappers, man. I was really? gonna say, man, I've seen people with, with grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Capone. Uh, Capone goes to the center. You know, they got they got the kidneys getting worked on, and they just tweeting and <laughs> and capping for uh, for the uh, for the for the platform. So I don't, know, man. I, I see it all, man. I see the young guys doing. I see the old guys that you just wondering, like, dude, is, is this what you do? I think with the young, but, I think I think this is. Because you know, I'm I'm probably the youngest person here. I'm not gonna. I'm 29, so yeah, you uh, definitely I'm definitely I'm definitely the youngest one. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I, I think what we're seeing here is the 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 get off my lawn syndrome for a lot of us, right? We all grew up in a time where you know we were yeah. buying games, and you know, back in my day, we did, you know all that. I think that's us. We are the 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 people. We are me. the. I don't know. Yeah, we are the grand. You know, like we are what our grandparents were when they were trying to yeah. tell us about back in the day when they could buy. Well, a bag listen. Of the thing is, though, everybody is everybody mm-hmm. is is very easily. It's, yeah, it seems like you. every. Yeah. But this 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 whole new group of gamers coming up, like same way we were. Like you can be influenced, hence influencers, right? Like you can be influenced, and if everyone in the world is telling you as you come into the gaming space that this is a great thing and you need to buy into it, and if you don't buy into it, you're just wrong. Well, you know what? You just start buying into it, you know, and that's Sounds the like thing. Politics, I, right? Exactly. It is. That's exactly what it is. To be honest with you, and shout out to Capone who said, "Mooch, no, I was just referring to Starfield." As far as I thought, that's what you were referring to when I said "unproven." No, so shout out to Capone. He's outstanding. Love, love Capone. Um, How I, dare you, Luca? I'm what, sorry. What, go what, ahead. What, oh, I'm gonna get to Luca, Luca's in a second. <laughs> She probably said something I'm, about slow mo. This is this is no, oh, this is a super you, chat. You want to read it? You want to yeah, read, read it slow mo? I want to read this. Slander. Go ahead, go ahead, and do it, uh, Lucas. I gotta get to the other uh, super chats. Shout out to the the Ashen Midget Luca. Oh come on, that's my super chat. That's my. Hey, Luca. No, she 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 threw some slander. I had she did throw some at you. Yeah, that's the homie though. Um, <laughs> not this old man slow mo being ageist. I'm not being ageist, but still, dude, you're like sixty. I'm not sixty. I'm not close to sixty. Hi, Mooch Boo. I, I don't even know. What, I, not, now I don't even want to repeat. <laughs> no, I don't want to read the rest. You don't have to read the rest. Might as well finish it. It's my time and because I wish I had y'all's energy. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Luca. Luca, it's always great to have you here with us. Uh, I want to say, let me. I have these super chats that I got to get to. Um, Capone says, "Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? Who, who's sixty? Somebody's sixty on the panel? No. I'm not sixty. No, no. she was. No. She's exaggerating. So, guys, you. answer me this question. I know Forte would. Uh, Forte, we already, we're well after nine o'clock, so I've lost some of my usual suspects here. But guys, you oh, can help Jesus. me out." Capone says, Mooch, you was making me thinking I was crazy. He said they removed the paywall on April 21st. Great show tonight. They announced they're going to remove the paywall, but Microsoft's paywall is still there, if I'm not mistaken, right? They're, they're removing it later this year for no, free-to-play games. They, removed it. they, they already, already moved it. Beta, and then they removed it. I thought but it was removed still have like to, a month ago. But you still yeah. have to pay for that Looney Tunes game, which is a free-to-play game. you got to subscribe <laughs> to Ultimate. Well, <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. I th- okay, so I know the beta came you out have to for subscribe to ultimate if, you, free. if you if you want to get it early, you do. Right. So that, well, after that fourteen days when it's free, is it free for everyone? It's free for everyone. Free on- okay, free okay. For so yeah. I, I stand corrected that I thought I knew that the beta came out, but I thought that they said that the free to play games were going to be going free to play as of this fall. They they've already no, it was it was like a month ago. A month they, ago. They, okay, I apologize, yeah, Capone. Yeah. Capone yeah, is I right. I remember making an announcement at, about it at some point. I just don't remember when, but I remember seeing something. So here's a question for the was, panel, guys. I want to get your take on it. A Q perspective here, and he's been asking me, Mooch, did you read my super chat? I apologize. A Q perspective. Thank you for being patient. He says, hey, panel, the negativity about Game Pass in one of your silicues. Oh. I, I can't remember. Soliloquies. 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 Thank you. Soliloquies. Thank you. I need glasses, man. Let's hear what your astute assessment of Sony's PS Now service Versus Game Pass is in 2021. I think PS Now is terrible. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't even have PS Now. I, I, I don't I, have it either. I, I mean, don't see but, getting I mean, it. But I mean, PS Now has more games. It does have more games. 900, but the problem, you got 900 games. And the problem with cheaper. PS Now is a lot of the games you have to stream, and nobody wants to do that. And a lot of the games associated with PlayStation over the years, you can't even play natively on the system, but you can on the Xbox. How can you not play the Metal Gear HD collection natively on a PlayStation, but you can on an Xbox? It makes no sense to me. Yeah. 
So all the PS3 games, you might as well just throw them out because nobody's streaming them. Yeah. The- uh, so P- uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, you can't play it natively. You got to stream it. It makes no sense. Yeah, the the streaming thing is is uh, baffling. I think a lot of people don't really enjoy that experience, and uh, the reason wh- where we know it's because of the cell processor, right? The PS3 yeah, games I mean, are having. There, there are people doing emulators out there that <laughs> run those games on PC. Why yeah. can't they do that? They, yeah, uh, it's just a, they they could do it. I, I just don't think they want to uh, invest they focus on new experiences. <laughs> Right. Oh, there you go. Listen, they focus on new experiences. You can fuck about the whole game, man. Right? Persona you got money with the new shit. Who can fuck about these old ass games? Y'all gonna get who would want to play old games? Persona puts it out there, point blank. Uh, shout like out to Ryan. Jeff. I have PS now, and I can't. I couldn't tell you the last time I actually went through the library to see if there was something I wanted to play. I do think that I think at one point I did. I did play. Oh, what the, what the hell is that game? That Sony Japan game. Why is it? Cause I like the second one. The, 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 the name escapes me. It's the one where the girl can actually like uh, control gravity. Gravity, gravity Rush. Rush. Gravity, gravity Rush. Rush. Gravity Rush. Good name. Good, good grief. Gra- like Gravity Rush Remastered. I played through uh, I played through through it. And I also played Heavenly Sword through it. Heavenly Sword played awful. And, uh, but you know, it's, I haven't looked at it in a while. It, I've, I've had, I've got both services. It is what it is, but it hey, look, look, game pass is better, but I, I don't, I guess, I guess, I, don't, I mean, it, it's, I guess that's what a cute one to hear that game pass is better. There, there you go. go. Mm-hmm. He's happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's happy. We got a happy customer here. Um, uh, shout out to, uh, Jeffrey Banks here. He says, but games like resident evil eight village copies were sold 80% on PlayStation five, not Xbox series X. Um, I think you know you have a bigger install base, and I think that that was also you're going by PlayStation Five. PlayStation Five has, I think, for the majority, two to one, right? Two to one, yeah, mm-hmm. two to yeah. one, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's not that's only going to grow, I believe. Um, of, of course. Shout out to the wise old gamer. He says, "I am a Game Pass, PlayStation, and Nintendo player." I like how he said Game Pass instead of Xbox. Uh, right, that's kind of strange. Right, I mean, right? Maybe that was, was that that might have been strategic. Um, he, he, he listens to Slumos videos. That's why. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I, I'm a Game Pass, PlayStation, and Nintendo player. I have 120 hours and going on Octopath Traveler on Game Pass. F my life. Uh, but I have Ratchet and Clank for Dual Senses. I use Game Pass to try before I buy. Did he uh, say ask my wife? No. F yeah, my life. I, I'm, I'm F gonna be my life. Honest with you. Oh, oh, F my life. Okay. F my life. Go ahead, Persona. You have something? Uh, it slipped my mind. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> all right. That quick. No, I mean, I'm getting, old, I'm getting old. Wise oh, old. <laughs> why? Wise old gamer. I, I, I understand that. I, it's nine years old. We, we, we don't want to hear you getting old, man. He's twenty nine. <laughs> I'm losing his train of thought. I'm maybe 30. I'm, like, I'm, th- I'm thirty. I'm thirty now. You know. Maybe it's because I'm a mooch. Uh, but like, if I have Game Pass and then a game like uh, crap said this number of time, I fully intended to buy Outriders. But if I have Game Pass and Outriders is in Game Pass, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna that's play what it I was gonna say, yeah. for sixty exactly. hours and then go I mean, buy I bought it. Outriders on PS Five, like I platinum the game, like it, it, it's great for what it was, for the, what it is. But I enjoy looter shooters and stuff like that anyway. Like, right, uh, you know, people shitted on Destiny at the beginning, thought it was the worst game come out. Looter shooter, why I got it? No, I don't want to grind. I, oh man, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I ain't gonna go down that path. But you know, like Ooh. I love looter shooters. <laughs> I, like I love that. Like the same thing with Godfall with with uh, Avengers. I love those types of games. So like. I don't mind paying full price for that because that's what I enjoy. Like I don't. That's what mind you that enjoy, stuff. absolutely. Yeah, like that's what I enjoy. Like, I, but see, but I think part of the problem here, and you know, I I, I want to put this disclaimer: if it doesn't apply, let it fly. So if this is not you, no need to get butt hurt because you guys been coming at me in the chat since I've been here. But it's not, you're such a fan, but relax. If it don't apply, let it fly. But I think a lot when it, when it comes to this community, I think a lot of people don't know who they are as gamers. Hmm. So I think that's why all this try before you buy bullshit, all this Game Pass is great for this and all. Listen, uh, I've been playing games since I was four years old. Um, I know what I like. I know what I enjoy. I love JRPGs. I love first person shooters. I love looters. I love all. I know what I like. So I'm going to take a risk 
on something, especially if it's in a genre that I enjoy, because I know how I am as a gamer and what I enjoy. A lot mm. of people, they don't know what they like. They like this, but they don't like this. They don't like this. They don't like you don't like and, nothing. And then it's like, well, what the fuck? Well, are we you used playing? to make we used to make well, a joke that, well, all the time on service. That's where a service can come in handy, like Game Pass, then, right? For those people. I, I guess it's for yeah. the people that well, don't the, know well, who the, they are. The yeah, answer is yeah, but I mean, it, it makes sense. Like, think about this in terms of again. again it's because I'm, I'm starving and I miss dinner, but. Like when you think of it in terms of food and you say, we're going to go out somewhere, we're going to go to a nice restaurant, right? You don't go to a restaurant and go, well, let me just try, a you know, I don't, I've never eaten this before, but I guess I'll try. No, you're usually going to go out if you're spending money on a place that you like to eat. That's what he's trying to say. Where he's going to throw his money is what he knows after years and years of experiencing, he knows what he likes to play. And I'm in the same boat. I'll give you an example. Like Horizon 5 is coming out. There's no doubt that Forza Horizon 5 is a beautiful game. It's an unbelievable and there's, game. Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt you're buying that game. I mean, but, well, you're going to play in Game Pass. I, I, I'll try it in Game Pass, but I can tell you this much: There's I'm not, no I'm not try. a drive, I'm not a driving car simulator sandbox guy. I, I don't like those games. Like they're not fun see, for me. To me yeah, see, they're not there fun. Are certain games that are going into Game Pass that I know are an instant buy. Like I don't even need to see them in Game Pass. Forza Horizon's one of them. Halo's going to be one of them. Even though I, I, I'm kind well, of nervous I was, about Halo. Well, see, and you make a good point. That's a, that's a that's a second point. But I was kind of agreeing with 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 Persona there. Like I know I don't like racing. Like like Gran Turismo, I don't want it. Forza, I don't want it. Like it Forza doesn't matter Horizon, if it, though, it's so different. Why do guys it's think not. I mean, it's still driving around in circles. Where yeah. until until why, they why let me it? get out of the car and shoot something, I don't want it. Why does the chat, why you know what I mean? Why, why does the chat have to? I, the chat saying it's hard for hardcore gamers to understand. It's not. A, you don't need to be a hardcore gamer to know what you like. Like I, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, like, that's not a hardcore thing at no, all. That's I, just a I, personal I, preference. I don't get, like there are pe there are people in this community that only play Fortnite, that only play COD, that only play Madden, FIFA, and 2K. Okay. They that's what they enjoy. They not out here talking about, oh, maybe I'll try this. No, when they go to the store every year, year in and year out, 60 or $70, mm. cha-ching, mm -hmm. buying it because they know that's what they like. Yeah. yeah. It ain't about being a hardcore this, a hardcore that. Well, it's, it's like, about it's like, what you like. It's like what Crap said, right? The Ascent. That's not his jam. It doesn't matter if it's in Game Pass. He don't like yeah, I it. Think that looks good. Yeah. That well, looks no, good no. I'm just, I'm just, just. In, I, I do too. But see, I, I like yeah. games like that. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I played all the Diablos. I love that. that. I know people are saying it's not like Diablo, but to me, anything top down should like. I love that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But like, my, that's. Hey, my, hey, hold on, real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, Persona. Yeah. What's up? I, I heard you say you like first person shooters. Of course. Have you played Splitgate? No, no, oh, no. Console. <laughs> you know, I see you talking about that too on uh, uh was that your, on the podcast or one of your videos you did. I see you talking about that. Is that on uh, console good? or PC? You're gonna get you're gonna get Forte <laughs> all riled up. No, first you get Forte uh, all riled up. Hopefully you ain't, oh, yeah, hopefully I, I, you I, ain't I, listen to that trash show we did yesterday during that segment that he talked about. I don't call our own show trash just because. <laughs> he he did. Did. That's how much he did that not like your your segment. That segment, that segment was horrible. <laughs> Matter of fact, there should be timestamps in that video. Yo, so you can skip it. Yo, Forte, if, Forte. If, if it's only on show where I'm like headshot and food <laughs> left and right, and, and Forte was over there hating. It's great, <laughs> Forte, man. It's great. Forte I, I walked off the doing, set. I think it was you when you posted up on Twitter. You did your first impressions for it. I think I was watching and you were telling me about it, um, telling telling the community about it. But if it's on PC, I won't buy it. I don't. I don't support PC gaming. I think that's uh, that's that's terroristic. I don't support. Oh my <laughs> god! No, yeah, I don't, I don't, so I don't, I, yeah, I don't, I don't support PC gamers. Reason I came back. It's the reason I came back to console slow mo. That's, 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 that's good. good. I don't support anything PC this gaming. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, can't, can't do like it. when Halo, when Halo comes out, I, I'm, I'm, I would much rather buy an Xbox than play it on PC. Well, I mean, well, look, it's coming to mm. call, like place. It's, it'll, be, it'll be on PlayStation and Xbox. The uh, open beta Halo? July first. Oh, oh, you talking about Splitgate? Yeah, Halo. Well, I was talking about Splitgate. Like, <laughs> they, they did a they did a demo, a test demo this month, but it was mm. only limited time. So the open beta starts at July first. So I'm just mm. just check it out. You know, you might like. Is it a multiplayer like, game or is it a yeah, it's a it's a it's an arena shooter. It's, it's okay. a first person shooter, okay. arena shooter. Yeah. Just All remember, right. this man said that game has the mm. best gunplay of any game he's ever played. Just remember this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say any game. See, the forte. This this is this is 
Shade, this is shady. The fact that Destiny wasn't on the top of your list lets me know you say this is the best gun player. The only reason why he acting like this on a game he has not played since it's been revamped. That's the only reason he feels this way is because I I didn't say Destiny was the best because it's not. You said it when you didn't even have it in the top three. I did have it in the top three. three? What 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 did you you have before? Uh, You know what? I forgot. I I deleted that part of the podcast from my memory. (laughs) You you delete (laughs) stuff from your memory. The same way you delete stuff from your 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 hard drive and your 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 storage devices because you don't play nothing. Oh Oh, no! Here we go. Listen, hold on. We we got a couple more here. We got a couple more. Uh, Brober uh, (laughs) Country comes back. He says PlayStation is global. Game Pass is local. PlayStation is worldwide. So there is something for okay. that. Then when you're talking about big and water, numbers. And water is wet. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's true, right? These are things we know. You this are is rare form today. Oh, worry, yeah. He, he's, just just go, he's going man. in. I'm just tired. I'm usually not this mean. <laughs> That's uh, great. A Q Perspective says, honest opinion on Sony's PS Now. We already we did that one already. I apologize. Yeah, it's terrible. No, he repeated, he repeated it because he wasn't sure if I read it. So I appreciate, appreciate the super shout of Q Perspective. Thank you. Uh, Sir X-Man comes back and says, welcome to the weekly Game Pass show. Stop it, Sir X-Man. Uh, I, this, I brought this up purposefully because of Mr. Matty Plays' this video. I thought that was a very good video. AJ Felton says, I beat three Yakuza games on PS4 back in 2017, 2018, yet I still played in Game Pass. That doesn't apply to me. It, it AJ, it's not that it, we're trying to say you were like Game Pass is a value to you because you could play through the Yakuza's. What we were trying to say is you could walk right into Forte's store tomorrow and get like the probably the first what seven yakuza's for like a grand total of thirty bucks, like maybe forty yeah, bucks. But, so, but but why do that when you can get a whole bunch of other games along with it for the you same can, price? Well, because you can own them. Those are eventually going to leave. Yeah, probably not, not, it's listen, not the EA though. vault. Those listen, games leave. No, really, no, 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 that's, no, that's, no, that's, valid, that's a valid point. That's a valid no, point. No, it is a valid point. But let's be for real. We got. I was talking to Slow Mo about this yesterday. I was like, Slow Mo, is it just me or when you look at a like Steam sales used mm. to be the rage of everything? I'm like, yo, it's a Steam sale. All the PC games are on sale. I looked at that thing and I was like. It's a oh, bunch of games. Please. It's a bunch of games on here that I would like to buy, but I'm like, all I'm gonna do is add another game to a library of games that I'm never gonna play. So it's it's like it, it's 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 just kind of kind of productive but, but, at a certain point. But when you point. see, but don't you when you see a Game Pass commercial, they're like these games are now coming to Game Pass. That, that's how I feel about most but of them. A, but it, but see, that's the thing though. I look. I think this is because I'm different when I think about. It. I don't. I don't include my own thoughts on what I feel like game pass means for me because game pass for me i own like most of the games in game pass i already owned now when it comes to like the newer games and stuff that they're releasing yeah i don't have to buy this i don't have to buy forza yeah. horizon 5 because i have game pass i don't have to do that but when it comes to a lot of other people the value is there and like I'm, like i said it's, it may not be for us because i think we look at it as gamers like i'm always used to doing this and i'm always used to buying my games and all this other stuff but it opens up an avenue for people that never got a chance to try certain things that they want to do now and i I think that's the only difference in the conversation is it is it a right yeah go ahead Um, uh uh uh, should lamborghini lower the price of their car so more people can drive them no but lamborghini isn't xbox either it could be no come on now persona (laughs) (laughs) well in the conversation that you're saying right in the in the statement you're saying right now yeah you want it to be Larry and and this is the one thing I will and I know where you're going with this you want Xbox to put be considered that Larry because we all want the the competition is the thing this is what Uh everybody feels like Uh right now in your eyes you feel like Xbox focusing mostly on game pass and the way that their games are being pushed into there you feel like it's not pushing sony to do better than what they're actually doing sony is looking at it like they you probably think sony looked at that e3 press conference was like oh we straight we ain't gotta do nothing we, looked at that we, so but I, I know i know you <laughs> i know you persona so i know i know where you coming from on that situation but that's also why i keep telling people it's like what we want from Xbox and what mm-hmm. everybody else wants from Xbox is two different freaking things. There is yeah, a but bunch a of people game is out a there. Experience, so like it what is you stuff, want is most but, important, right? But that's but but the thing is, are you going out and buying an Xbox 
anyways, just because of what and I, are you? I might. You, are you? Yeah, gonna, yeah you might. You might. might. But yeah. you already said hey, you're not going to play. You want to play Halo, but you're yeah. not going to play no PC. So yeah, yeah, are yeah. you already committed to buying an Xbox to play Halo? I mean, I also need a, another personal heater because, you know, wintertime come around and get a little too. Oh, Lord. oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well. Um, no, nah, but I mean, listen, I mean, you know, Halo, because I do need a new like first person shooter, like something to really like grab me. Halo, I'm with you on that. Halo, Halo looks, it looks in- like I'm definitely intrigued. And, me too. You know, most likely this holiday, uh, you'll I, definitely see a tweet of me buying a, you know, posting up. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's the only thing I, I, I think. But that's the thing. But do you see? But do you see how? Do you see how key that is? Take someone like Persona. He is very, very opinionated on the PlayStation on the Xbox platform. It take a game that looks good to him, that fits oh, his genre. He's about to go drop. He'll drop five hundred dollars. And Yo, that's that, the- that's the thing too. Like on Xbox for the uh, Xbox last gen. <laughs> what made me get an Xbox last gen was um, Gears and Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, I was like, Yo, Sunset great, Overdrive great looks game. great. Yeah. Sunset Quantum Overdrive, Quantum, Quantum Quantum Dead Break, Rising Sunset Three, Overdrive, Titanfall, um, uh, Titanfall. Like you know, good games, uh, Halo man. Five. Those all looked super interesting. I'm like, yo, damn, I, I wanted Xbox because these games look great. Quantum right. Break was decent, could have been better. Right. Sunset Overdrive was great, even though people hate that game. And then you turn around, uh, you look at this Halo generation, and you say the medium, uh, Sea of Thieves DLC, but it's not making the grade. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if, there, if there was more incentive for me to grab one, that's I would have picked. I would have picked up a Series X at launch. Like absolutely. You know, contrary to pop and belief, yes, my preference is PlayStation, but I say it all the time. I'm a gamer first and a PlayStation fan second. I play yeah, games. Absolutely. I got a switch. I got everything because I I, I want to play games. If something's interesting, I'm gonna pick it up. Right, and so that, that goes simple. back. <clears throat> and that goes back to what I when worry were asked me about um, the differences why games sell better on PlayStation and why the discrepancy in sales is the way they are. People like Persona. You know, Persona hasn't had a reason to go out and buy a new Xbox. And that is kind of been like I see more Xbox people that have PlayStations than PlayStation people have Xbox. Sure, because there's oh, a yeah. reason. Yeah. But, well, and, and that, but I always say that's why I always pre- always say that comment. I'm like, Xbox hasn't given if Xbox haven't given you a reason to buy it, don't buy it. But the fact that I never will tell a person like, yo, your decision in buying the system is terrible because I don't know what your oh, decision. No, no, no. Will- I agree. Good. Well, yeah, you can't tell. No, I, you yeah, can't say to somebody you shouldn't true. buy something if they maybe they like only games like uh, Descenders. They only like games like The Ascent. They only like games like Sea of Thieves. Well, guess what? They have there's a console for you. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that you can't oh, tell right, somebody. Like, you know, you're gonna break some from the past. But my point <laughs> being is like you can't tell somebody what they like and don't like. That's well, not, that's. Well, I know that's not what we're trying to do here. But you got to kind of think of it from you know the viewer's perspective when they hear us talk about all no, like, no, 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 I'm not saying that's no. how you're making it come off. I'm just saying, but from a viewer's perspective, that's all they kind of hear. See, they hear all the stuff that they actually that's what, like well, about it. It's, it's that you think that you think, which you, terrible. yeah, but see on the other scale though, look at the other side of the coin before you, you run off with that one. And of course I see where you're coming yeah. from is I look at it as everyone's telling me it's game passes gold and you shouldn't say anything bad about it. Right, so oh, I agree with that. So, and I tell those people, and, and those are the people I don't listen to, and I just don't even speak on. Well, it's hard to miss it. It's every other tweet. So uh, that's, you know, that's because you live on Twitter every day. So well, I don't I live mean, on Twitter, but I do. I, I, I definitely peruse Twitter. And my point being is, is like that's that's just not the norm. What I'm always here to do is, I'm trying to say there's an even balance here. There's an even balance. There's good and there's bad. The game pass. It's not all great. It's just not. But everyone says it's just great. Mooch, you can't. Oh, there's nothing it's, it's great amazing. about any. There's you know? nothing great about and any like, service. Like Slow Mo and, and uh, Persona said it earlier. You know, Netflix is one of the best streaming services out there. But guess what? They put mm. out a whole bunch of trash. A lot of crap. Yeah. A lot of trash lot that of you ain't going to ever see yourself watching. And you're going to be now like, why am I paying for this description? With, and every now and then they hit you with a series that like says, this is why I subscribe to Netflix. Like I started you know, watching maybe, it. the next season of that. Yeah, like maybe, this, yeah. Time, maybe yeah. this time, the middle of 2022 or early 2023 Game Pass, we won't, we won't even have this discussion anymore. It'll just be, it'll just be phenomenal. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the I thing. That's Absolutely. what everybody's trying to get to. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Jeffrey. I mean, it's, it's the unfortunate thing, though. Yeah, it is. Shout out to Jeffrey Banks. He says P- PlayStation Now quality is getting better. Upgrade 1080p game, uh, game streaming titles added like Borderlands 3, Neo Team. Streaming stocks. Witcher 3, Spider Man. 
and uh, Horizon Forbidden West coming. Uh, I, you know, I agree with Worry on that. I, I, the thing is, is see, as much as Horizon you guys... Forbidden West is not coming to PlayStation now anytime soon. I don't know where no. they're getting that from. No, I don't no. know. I don't know it's where that comes from. It's just wishful. It's wishful thinking. Right. But uh, here's my thing: just so you guys think that it's just I don't. I'm always hard. The reason I don't bring up PS Now ever is I don't want PS Now at all. Like I have no interest in PS Now at all, at all. And the thing about it is, is PlayStation gamers and the PlayStation community they also don't throw PS Now at you all day long. You know, it's like, well, you know, what, Mooch. I hope you're enjoying Returnal. Nice plat. Do you have PS Now yet? Why don't you have it? Why don't you get it? <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> Tell another. You know, and it's like... I, I, like Play, PlayStation gamers is waiting on that Horizon I, release. Thing. Yeah, I'm just waiting for a new game. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny. Everybody that loves, you know, Game Pass is like, they're just like, give me new games. I want new games. I can't wait for something new. And then when a new game comes out, everyone's talking about it on Twitter. I'm like, well, you have 200 games to play that you've never played, according to you. Why aren't you playing those? You should be excited. It's like we, you know, you have you have a hundred games in your backlog. There's new games coming out every single week. It feels like at this point, and as we go closer and closer to fall, there's a ton of games coming out, and you know yet what? everyone's excited for the 200 games that go back to the 360 era. And I'm like, eh, I don't, I'm just, I don't see it. I don't have that energy, but I'm trying to bring the same energy. Go ahead, Persona. You know why? Because I, I think it's it's people like to just brag about the backlogs, man. Because I, I used to wonder that, too, where, like, you know, on Twitter, it's like, like would I go play the games? It's like, yeah. Yo, I got a big backlog, too. I got, like, 800 games on my PlayStation 4 between PS4 and PS5. I mean, look, some of them the games just ain't going to be put, finished. And some of them yeah, I bought that, on a whim of true. thinking it was going to be good, and then I played it, and I'm like, oh, no, this is trash. Delete and move on. Like, that's just, that's just what that's it is. That's life. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's life. life. Like, right? Uh, but there are a lot of games in my backlog that, I, I, unless I was like stuck on a an island and all I had was my PS5 with all those games downloaded, uh, those games ain't getting beat. <laughs> and even no. then, if I got internet, <laughs> I'm playing Destiny. I like so how we said I turned the game on. Beat. I like how you're like I turned the game on. It wasn't good. That shit sucked. Delete. <laughs> it's like yes. right. Yo, there's right. plenty of games that I bought. That, like, oh, this looks good. That's what I did with Destiny. Turned it on, deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not alone, really worry. Destiny, bro. You're not alone. I went back to the real shooter, Halo. Halo. Listen, I got news for you. I am oh, very, I am very excited yes, for bro, Halo. Bro, I hope Halo, Halo 5, has. Whole, now listen, man, that Halo Five multiplayer was ass, bro. I'm keep stuck with you, bro. Well, Halo Five multiplayer. Whoa, 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 no, was hey there, man. I, I didn't like. I didn't like. It. I didn't like. Listen, good, I'm just saying it wasn't good, perfect. Good. Guardians campaign is 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 the juice. No, I'm talking about multiplayer. I'm only talking about multiplayer. I'm not talking about the game, the campaign, or nothing. Oh no, the, the multiplayer is good. I like the multiplayer, but they the say campaign it. is the one I thought was just like Persona. Mo Halo Five multiplayer gets the most praise actually from all sides of the the, the camp. Myself personally, I, I I hope that they build upon Halo Five. I thought it was a, a decent multiplayer, but I didn't play a whole lot of it to be honest with you. Warzone was fun as hell. What was Bori? Warzone. Oh, the Warzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warzone's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I was 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 really good. By the way, I, I I've kept everyone here for. Almost three hours. I'm, this is becoming an absolute. Not me. No, that's right. Not, Not worry. Not worry. This is true. <laughs> um, shout out to everybody that's here, guys. I was saying half the panel had to leave because it's well after nine o'clock. But I do want to say this much. I want to say thanks to everybody in the chat. Thank you guys for the super chat. Thank you to all of the new Mooch Maniac uh, family members. You guys are awesome. Right above the description is the join button there. Please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, let me do some outros real quick. I'll start with worry. Worry. Honestly, great to have you here. I know that your schedule is intense yeah, me, right uh, now. Let, 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 let me apologize. I was a little harsh tonight. I don't want to come off like that, but I just feel angry Xbox doesn't want me anymore. They, they don't want me as a gamer. You're feeling I'm unwanted. No, I'm just kidding because people actually feel that way. That's kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> it is sad. <laughs> yeah, <it's> sad. <laughs> um, oh. yeah, thanks for having me. I tried to get in here, and uh, it's hard, you know. It but, is, um, buddy, but I appreciate you being here. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Awesome, Worry. Thank you, buddy. Then I got my buddy here, Slow Mo Black Slap, who came in last second. But we missed you, buddy. We need you here, Slow Mo, because you have the analysis and forte. And you, by the way, have the best one two combo in podcasting, buddy. Uh, love the DPS well, podcast. Honest, you know, love like, what you guys what do. I'm here for. <laughs> Slow Mo, honestly, I know you got a lot of shit going on with your family and, and, and the podcasting and your channel. And I just appreciate you being here as well. So, Slow Mo, let people know where they can find you. 
Sure, man. You know, great show. Uh, uh, great time with you guys. It was it was good to see Worry Worry again. You know, I, I I'm glad to see him around again and 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 being able to podcast with him and as as well as as well as uh gaming with Persona as well. I don't get to talk with him as often as I I like to. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can find me on my channel slow mo backslap where i talk about all the games that i enjoy I, I like to do deep dives into game developers and their process and making games and like it's all kinds of good stuff in dps podcast with the homie gaming forte we got that every thursday nights 9 p.m eastern so come check the channel out and if you like it you know subscribe that's all we can ever ask right slow mo so we say if you like it hit the subscribe button we appreciate it uh right. the great persona speaks was here persona definitely got a lot off his chest tonight I knew it. I think tonight was Persona's breakout night on Crossfire. I love it, man. That was great. He was on fire. Love the takes. Persona, you got a big day coming up with our boy Jay tomorrow. Let people know yeah. where they can find you, and thanks for being here tonight. Yeah, first off, uh, I know like half your chat probably hate me. No, nah. it's probably my last all love. ever coming to the show. All love. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love. Um, but listen, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Shout out to the panel, man. Uh, it was definitely great chopping it up with uh, Game of Forte and Slow Mo and Worry Wart and crap and brap uh and mooch you as well and just you know Appreciate good it. conversation man I, I love the conversation love the energy uh you know shout out to you guys and for me man for those that don't know i'm persona my twitter is at persona speaks uh my personal youtube channel is gaming with persona i do live streams i do uh pop my podcast when persona speaks uh and listen <laughs> don't come in there thinking it's some uh we, we we make fun of xbox and <laughs> we make fun of everybody so uh you know <laughs> don't subscribe thinking it's some kumbaya shit it ain't it's um and then uh every saturday morning at 11 a.m uh what's up playstation podcast uh with the what's up playstation youtube channel with myself and jay Barry. shout out to my bro and uh, yeah man i appreciate you guys make sure y'all hit that like button share the stream out and uh yeah man thanks for having me hey, appreciate hey, it, hey, 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 yeah. hey 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 hold on a second what the sure. hell kind of shit is this everybody gets to say where they can find them but i don't get to do it <laughs> you at first I, you, you didn't say tell people where you can find them at. You just skipped I mean, over me. Well, we went, you, we went over this podcast. I only got 48 oh, subscribers. Oh, you know, like, you, make, you make it seem like you never been on the podcast before where you give all your information. Where you there, are you know. a veteran in this business. God damn. They're like, oh, the guy's only got 48 subscribers. I didn't even I don't even know what I am. I didn't even worry just forgot. That's all. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Oh, it's great stuff. Thank you, buddy. And uh, the great gaming forte who uh, is here from the beginning to the end, the beginning to the end. It is a huge deal. Forte, I appreciate you being here, buddy. Love getting your take on everything gaming as usual. Let people know where they can find you. And thanks for being here tonight. Yeah, man, this this is good. This is a fun show, man. You know, um, yelling and all. It was yes. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's no, crossfire. It's crossfire, no baby. No right. Man. Definitely. So shout out to Worry Word. Thanks for coming through, brothers. Always good to have your opinions on the show. Persona, always great to hear you on the show too, man. Don't get a chance to do it enough with you. And um, as always, my homeboy Slumbo Backslap, king of podcasting, does more a week than I do, which is kind of crazy, but it's um, not true, but <laughs> which is more than I do. <laughs> so uh check me out on Gaming Forte on YouTube, Twitter, and Xbox Live and PlayStation. And um, yeah, man, DPS podcast next week on my channel. Going to be a great time. Make sure you check out last week's episode yet from yesterday on Slow Mo's. Another great episode. And Brad podcast on Wednesday nights. And you guys have a good week. Appreciate and that. Make sure, and make sure that Forte tells you again about those two people that walked into the store to get Game Pass. <laughs> nope. <laughs> next, next time I'm going to take a picture. I'm, next time I'm going to get the consent of the customer and say, hey, can I those, take a picture of your receipt and put receipts. it on Twitter? <laughs> you know what? Do the spinning thing with your phone. And then we're going to be wondering right? what happened. I'm going to have a legion of people behind me that's going to be like, Game get Pass fired. for life. <laughs> and then the guy behind him will be like, now, Forte, when you give me my $20 for that. All right, let's or, or just try it. Or, or it's going to be like that picture where I took the picture of the people that standing in line for PlayStation 5s where that dude looked like he was sticking the middle finger up at everybody. <laughs> he did look like that, dude. Your pictures are quality. You got to do <laughs> You need to do more on a spot Twitter podcasts from your phone. I, I, I just, it has to happen. Uh, we missed uh, the good old days. Good, good old days. It's starting to get too busy out there now. Can't I do know that. Anymore. I know that's right. Shout out to Capone who says, Mooch, thank you. Hope you have a great weekend. Shout out to Capone. Great to have him here. And shout out to Eric B. He says, great show, Mooch and panel. Love you guys. Don't always agree, but still love you guys. Eric, that's all we can ever ask. Missile T. Shizzle says, great show, Mooch. Thank you again for putting it all together and giving me some entertainment to kick off my weekend. The gaming weekend starts with Crossfire. Guys, that's why we call it Crossfire and not Kumbaya. You're not supposed to agree with everybody. It's okay to have a difference 
of opinion. I do want to do a couple quick plugs. Check out Brat Basement Radio Arcade Podcast. It's Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The underscore Crap Gamer is on Twitter, and it's Crap Gamer Reviews on YouTube. Go over and check out the great Crap Gamer. And BitCloud Gaming, it's BitCloud Gaming on YouTube, and I believe also on Twitter. So check out Bit. Does so much work on his channel as well, and I'm trying to hope make sure I didn't forget anybody else that came on and may have dropped off early. But I want to say this yeah, much. Don't plug the guy with 48 subscribers. And though. the great Worrywart73. That's at YouTube. I believe it's no, Worrywart73. No, it's Worrywart Gaming. See, you don't even know where the hell I am. Man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, Worry. Oh, I owe man. you one big time. I'm trying to say no, he sense, don't man. watch his content, man. He, he just saying? came back like a oh, week man. ago. <laughs> so, so so he's coming back, baby. Just I can't wait. this man on your show and you don't Listen, even go watch his content. I I'm gonna, you you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually watch all of it and then I'm going to make an exam and uh, pass worry, it out worry, to an you audience. Got 40, worry, you got 49 subs now. Oh, my ah, God. Oh, huh? Holy shit. I'm up and coming. Let's get let's get worried to 100 subs by next Friday. We'll check that oh number out on the show, guys. Go now, over and check it out. Worry Wart Gaming. There it is. And shout out to <laughs> Magnum Visual says, thanks for the show, guys. I appreciate that. Thank you, Magnum. Guys, enjoy your weekend. I've kept everyone here for three hours. Have fun. Game where you like. Like what you like. We'll see you next Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Peace out. Enjoy Game yourself. Great. Great.